What's the hardest RimWorld challenge? Many argue it's the sea ice biome, but I took it a step further with Solo on the sea ice. Here's how I survived for a thousand days in RimWorld. Rim Can I endure starting in a place where temperatures plummet to minus 70 degrees Celsius and attempt to launch a ship in a resource-deprived environment? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, which is Randy Random. Losing is fun with 500% threat. Welcome to RimWorld. So we're going to try to beat the game completely solo here so only with silver and by that i mean that we cannot have any other pawns in this colonist bar so yeah we can still use animals and mechs but this will be insane it's also currently minus eight so we need to get going straight away so then silver is going to start working on the shack here made out of silver silver walls do give off six beauty so that's quite nice we need to reserve our steel and wood but of course we have hypothermia so finish this up oh well silver Silver, the shack is up, so now we just need a campfire for a short while. Well then, nice and warm inside. We want to make sure we have no hypothermia so we don't botch the wind turbine or the heater. That would be a huge failure. But yeah, we're going to try to beat the game with the ship launch here or the royalty ending, so we will see. But a thousand days here, this will be a great journey. And there we go. So now just the heater and we can deconstruct this campfire. But now we need a bed and a research bench, I think. Now we do have limited food here, so we will have to rely on human raiders. And of course, butcher up the dog here straight away. I'm sorry, doggy, but you're useless. Well then, got the bed down as well. You just need the butcher's table as well. And we want to make sure that we're eating up raw meat first because packaged survival meals last forever. And we want to make sure our wealth stays as low as possible because of course being with one pawn means almost no defensive systems so we're going to research batteries here and then go for microelectronics that's the best plan now it looks like we have some wildlife here like an arctic fox and some snow hares that we can hunt they're starving so we could lure them out here we can open up this door here and the hare should go right through speaking of which one wild hare here is going to die oh and get the hell out of here now we just have the arctic fox left, which has killed a hare. And it's time to execute this fox here. There is a 750% chance of execution because we're going to kill it while it sleeps. So guaranteed hits there and it's just dead. Ah, uh, come on, Silver. How are you missing this? Well then, calm days as we're researching. Ooh, transport crash here. A female pig skin. Free bacon. Actually, free organs. Let's go. In the initial early game, we will have to rely on traders. So we need to get a bulk goods trader and get steel. Without steel, we will not progress. So for now, we will have to harvest the organs with glitter wool medicine. But we make the money back tenfold as organs. Here we go. This can't possibly fail. Of course, surgery failed. Oh, well, it's a good way to practice medical experience. And a flash storm that is useless here. We are in a bit of a bad situation here. When there's no power, there's minus 5 Celsius indoors. Which of course means we're going to freeze. So we need a parka. And failed surgery again. What is going on, Silver? There we go, the kidney. And all the organs and straight into the butchery. While our first bunch of human meat. This is extravagant. And a manhunter pack from Randy. <laughs> Two rats. Now the bad thing about being solo is that 50% of quests and events will be for recruits. So the game tries to send you as many people as possible because of course they want you to grow. But here that will be useless or uh, free food maybe. Ah, uh, stupid rats repair the door. Ah, uh, food poisoning from human meat. And got battery. So of course microelectronics. We need to get to trading straight away. Okay, I don't want the rats eating the food here so I need to kill them. Yes, peek and shoot. Come on, Silver. I know they're tiny, but hit your shots. Thank you. Silver's charge shot punctured the rat's jaw and head into bits. And the other rat is just gone. It's leaving. It cannot deal with this any longer. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, a war merchant. That is not what we're looking for. I don't have any steel, I think. But I think I can sell off the organ, so this is actually quite alright. Okay, so they had 15 herbal medicine and one muffalo wool parka. So I'm selling off all the organs for this. So of course, this means that we can survive below minus 60, minus 50 Celsius. And with the herbal medicine, we can make a huge profit on organ harvestry. We're also going to hook up a battery now. 
Oh, visitors to trade. Okay, they have some herbal medicine. Could be useful. Now we are slowly bleeding out food. So, of course, getting hydroponics would be ideal. A poor child named Toplanek is approaching looking for help. Of course, we're going to help the poor beggar with her silver, the nine-year-old kid. Or that is what you thought. Get the hell back here. I'm taking you straight into the organ harvestry cell. Okay, strip the kid here. There we go. And we want to go for the lung, kidney, and heart. No kid, adult, or baby is getting out of here without their organs harvested. Survival of the fittest. And a transport crash here. Let's see here. Madam here is quite good, but we're solo. Free organs. Okay, she's actually going to bleed out, so we need to go out and get her. And all the organs out of the nine-year-old child. Next, we're going to go for the high mate. Get into the cell there. You get to have the nine-year-old as your body pillow. Please do not feed the damn thing. Just organ harvest it. And how many organs do we have? The pyramid of organs. Ah, oh, wonderful. That was wonderful. So much human lever. We could make a human lever armchair soon. A solar flare and raid from group of Edakin. Okay, two furries with knives. Let's go. We're going to prepare for a while so we can just poke at them. Come on, silver. Hit something. Okay, here they all come. Now what I can do is open the door here and I will try to steal what they can leave. If I do this and simply run away, you will see what happens. Yep, they have decided what they can steal, so they're going to equip some organs and now we can just shoot at them. Well, if Silver would hit a shot, that is. Oh my goodness, Silver. Come on, get at least one organ back. Uh, we did lose one organ because I thought we would kill them both. But Silver only has four shooting. Oh well, more food. Yeah, our wealth is a bit too high though, so we want to chill. A transport crash here. Let's see here. Another independent space refugee, which means independent organs. Do not feed Kate. Restrict that to nothing. Minus 38 Celsius. My goodness. Okay, it's minus 7 indoors, even though we have one heater. We will need two. And microelectronics. Can we afford it? Let's see. We're missing two steel for both the comms console and orbital trade beacon. That is a shame. Also need a skull spike, so extract her skull. Well then, let's Let's just research now while we wait for traders. We need steel. Ooh, cargo pods with dog lever from Randy. Is this a reminder to what I did to my dog? Oh no, my friend Kate died. My friend Balork died. Everyone died. Why the hell does she care about random strangers? Okay, minus 52 cells. Yes, the problem is that no traders will arrive now. It's too cold for them. More transport crashes. This guy will instantly freeze. More cargo pods from Randy, thank you, with Devil Strand. I need to sell this. In fact, I need to get rid of all of this garbage. Anyways, we need to make a human lever armchair. Let's do that. More food from Randy. Where's the next raid? Oh yeah, it might be too cold for raiders to even come here. Transpod crash yet again. What is this guy doing? Okay, just as I say that, a raid from Neanderthals. I should be able to kite them in this temperature. They should just die. Minus 10, minus 9. <laughs> They're dead. They won't be able to make it to the base. Yup. <laughs> They're both down. That was the easiest one yet. Desperate refugee, but we cannot accept this because we're solo. Oh well, the long winter continues. Oh, speaking of which, we're thrombos. That was perfect timing. Yeah, I need to get one of these thrombos for their lever and meat. I think that would be good. But my wealth is increasing. Almost 20k. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ah, they both got enraged. That is not good. Okay, one of them is sleeping. So now they should be free. We need to hit the heart or something. Still barely any damage. Come on, Silver. Bunch of shots in. Okay, now it's starting to bleed. Two permanent gunshot injuries in its brain. Uh, we can kite this thing now. And just let it bleed out. There we go. Even more transpod crashes. What is he up to? Okay, Randy. Pretty good pawns you're sending me. Minus 60 Celsius. It is upon us. And hydroponics. I've researched a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, we're just waiting for the traders. We need to wait until spring. 
No psychic drone from Randy. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Transport crash quest. Okay, I think this sandstone small sculpture would do good. So I'll do this. Now, anyone should freeze to death here. So it should be quite easy. The quest failed. They killed her instantly. And free steel with the crash shuttle. Oh, what is this? Bio-coded assault rifle. Okay, we got some luciferium though. Wait, what is this? You failed to rescue Panther. So this quest here, Panther is Silver Sun. But I couldn't rescue him because we're solo. So now Silver will get a minus 18 mood debuff for not saving her son. Snow hair self-tame. I don't need this thing. And a day on Silver. Yep. Her first mental break because her son died. Transpod crash. We have to reject this. And the flu on silver. This is the least deadliest disease, so we should survive. But I'll go for glitterwell medicine just in case. Also got the ideology quest. Might do this. Raid from Edakin. Okay, four of them this time. I need to get rid of some of my wealth. But we haven't had a single bulk goods trader. Hopefully I can take care of one group at least. Please steal some of my stuff. I don't need it. Up my wind turbine. Ah, oh, rip. We are faster than them, which is a very good thing. Okay, one group is fleeing. Ah, oh, not my base. Okay, we are fine, I think. Yeah, all of them are dead, but we lost the wind turbine. So now we have almost no power. Okay, you know what? I could make a wind turbine or a toxify generator. Ah, uh, shaman merchant. But I need a bulk goods trader from the Outlander faction. These ones don't have steel. Oh, well, they do have some psych IT here that we can use to help the mood. So drink that up, Silver, when you're sad. Let's say we have you drink if the mood is below 40%. So this will work now. And psych IT gives a plus 12 mood. Okay, Silver, reconstruct the wind turbine. Please don't botch it. I'm going to have to make silver shelves because our meat is deteriorating. Okay, please hurry this up. Also got a wild hair self-tame, which I need to butcher. Transpod crash and he is silver sun. Okay, we have to do this. He has a chance to join us, which we don't want because then the challenge fails. So we will just capture him and release him. That should work. Okay, Michael, you're our son, but we have to do this solo. You can explain that silver to your son, right? He will understand. And off he goes. So this way, silver doesn't get sad. A royal tribute collector. No, I need a bulk goods trader, Randy. Okay, a psychic zoo. Thank you. And now it's minus 8 Celsius. So now it's nice and warm, right? Meteorite of silver ore. Okay, Randy, thank you. So let's look at Silver's lore. She was a wreckage explorer in her childhood and in her adulthood, a starship janitor. So if she was on a starship, then they must have abandoned her. They left her to starve out here. A raid from imps. Okay, two of them. Well then, here we go. Well, they are lucky with their shots. Yeah, please come in and steal what you can. Here we go. Three shots. You're not going anywhere. Oh no, not my herbal. Come on. <laughs> he has died. Ooh, a combat supplier. Still no steel. Why the hell are they not coming to us? Ah, oh, it's because they had a social fight, some of them. Well then, I'm just selling off some stuff and getting a steel simple helmet. Well, hey, we have a lot of human liver and a lot of human corpses. Ooh, animal migration of foxes. Could be useful. Our wealth is at 20,000, so we have controlled it quite well. But yeah, still need that bulk goods trader. We cannot progress. Ooh, sandstone meteorite. Cargo pods from Randy. Please give me steel. Hemogen packs. What the hell? Ah, uh, this is a lot of wealth, actually. Ah, uh, the good thing is that we can eat this. Raid from wasters. Let's see here. Three of them. Okay, have them come in and steal what they can. Two dead and they're all fleeing. War merchant. No, a bulk goods trader, please. Oh, well, they will take a bunch of my loot, though. So this is what I'm trading. Getting a mega sloth wool parka. Yeah, our base is filled to the brim. <laughs> I need to expand soon. Raid from pigs. Okay, two of them with Molotov cocktails. This is <laughs> funny. This is the easiest raid yet from Randy.
The good thing is that once we have these Molotovs, we can now burn away the loot we don't need. So wealth management will be a lot easier now. And I'll please don't burn up my human meat. Oh, a flak vest. We need that. Oh, well, for storage purposes, let's just make silver shelves. Oh my goodness, meteorite of compacted steel from Randy. This is exactly what we needed, although we only have four mining. Here we go, get rid of wealth. Now the stupid thing is that silver walls are flammable, so I will have to take care of this. A oh, wall silver, it's time to finally mine. So the first thing we need is a comms console, of course, and then we need to expand the base. What is this? Imperial ship crash. I'll take this for the recurve bow. Okay, we will be here to help, so should be fine. Fine. Yeah, just a bunch of imps. And the quest has been completed. Time to expand upon the base here, finally. I think we will make a Toxify Generator because it's much easier to defend when it's indoors like this. And with the Toxify Generator, we don't need a battery as well, so that's a huge upside. And there we go, free power. Cargo pods with kibble from Randy. So the last thing I will do with the steel is to make an electric smelter because then we can smelt down all the steel slag chunks on the map. Okay, the base has been sorted, got the electric smelter, so it's time to start smelting. More rare thrombos. Maybe I should kill one of them. Here we go, thrombo revenge. Oh no, this damn snow here that got self-tame. This thing will be a nuisance. Oh, well, you will be sacrificed. Look at this. <laughs> Hair versus a thrombo. Imagine if it wins. Insta dead. We shot it right in its neck, so it should bleed out. Okay, that thing should die. Yep, it's dead. And there it goes. Exotic goods trader. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to buy a few sculptures and beer, and that should be good enough. We have also researched tube televisions, so make a TV. And the thrombo is ours. So what I want to do now is make a tailor bench and get some thrombo fur armor. Even more cargo pods with steel slag chunks. Wait, steel? Oh my goodness, Randy. He listened to me. I said I wanted steel from cargo pods earlier. Ah, Randy. I love you. Have I told you that? And with the tailor bench, we will make... A I think a parka of thrombo fur, pants, and a button-down shirt. Let's see here, a normal parka. We do have seven crafting, so should be better. Oh no, I forgot about the pollution here. I'll need a pollution pump for this toxified generator. Minus 63 Celsius. Anyways, good pants. Hmm, cannot afford the button-down shirt. Raid from Idakin. Four people with clubs. Let's do this. Come on, kill them. Now oh, they should come around. I've opened the door here. And now we will have them steal what they can leave. So this should work. Yep. Uh, they got some medicine, but that's about it. Nothing. Oh, maybe we will catch up. Minus 64. They're getting serious hypothermia. No wonder I'm faster than them. Yeah, none of them escaped. More meteorites. This one is live in action. Nice. Oh no, a zit in the middle of the base. Okay, Silver, get the hell back. Oh, save the electric smelter, please. Even more cargo pods with food from Randy. Now I want to become the Mechanitor, so we have to destroy the Exostrider. Let's see here. One Tesseron. This is so easy. Oh well, we will accept that soon. Well then, now we're just chilling, but we're going to smelt up some more steel slag chunks and accept the Mechanitor quest. So one Tesseron. This should be quite easy. We will accept this when the next raid appears. More cargo pods from Randy. He loves us. Insect jelly. I'm going to make one more Toxify generator. Need more power. And also more shelves for storage. A toxic fallout now. This is interesting. The good thing is that we don't go outside. I do not go outside as well in game. The map is so green now. Oh, well, we need to stay inside. So now we're waiting for more traders because we want more steel for a steel high-tech research bench. I think the most important would be deep drilling here. A combat supplier, let's see. Just buying some components and medicine. 
A raid from group of Neanderthals. Okay, five of them and it's minus 39. So they will get hypothermia. I'm going to accept the overseer's craft here. So we will see how this will go. Mechanitor ship lands right there. Should be able to smoke the Neanderthals. So I think drugs will be our friend here because they increase our stats a lot. So wake up, I think. Yep, hopefully we don't get addicted. There we go. And now we kite and kite. And the mechanoids are attacking now. That's as long as Silver doesn't go below the mental break threshold, she should be fine. Yeah, this was actually quite good that we accepted that quest. Oh no, Tesseron rip. And they're all fleeing. We can sell down their knives for more steel, which is nice. I feel like getting a few more organs now though. This guy right here, or girl, Larry Bird. Ah, the toxic fallout is over. Thank you, Randy. I forgot about the mech link here. Let's get that. Become a mechanitor. A lifter. That is actually very useful. Well, then Eve, our first mech. Is it? Okay, Randy. So the lifter can just haul the slag chunks here. And then Silver will go ahead and do that. We also have a bit too much human lever we need to burn away. Let's do that. Combat supplier, hello. Well then, upgrading to a steel flak helmet. And more deflu on silver. I mean, we have glitter wool medicine, so we should be fine. My goodness, Randy, gold or meat, right? Sheep join. Another shuttle crash. Let's do this for the small sculpture. Ah, this is not looking too good. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> and the quest has been completed. Oh, not my sheep eating the food. I need to butcher them. Oh, no, it's quite warm inside now. I want to open up the roof a bit. Mech luster. Okay, hopefully nothing too bad. EMI dynamo. That is actually pretty bad. Now, the good thing is that I can get behind this here, try to destroy it. And once the EMI is destroyed, then it will EMP stun the turrets. So that should be our chance to run. Anyways, we are missing one steel from the high tech research bench. Oh, well, we have some here. And now we can deconstruct the wooden simple research bench. Let's see how much smelting a knife will give us. Oh, seven steel. Not bad. So, Two knives equal almost one steel slag chunk. Visitors to trade, welcome to hell. They had a lot of psych IT, which we need. Great. And there we go, high-tech research bench. Well then, all of this is unlocked. But our wealth is at 26k. We need to make it lower. Anyways, research basic mech tech. And then I think deep drilling. And now the Pelagon silver. Okay, we need to use glitter well medicine for this. Yeah, yes, yeah, rest up. Hold on, we need to take care of this soon. I should just take care of this now before silver gets worse we're going to try to build a wall here just in case and yeah uh, there's one tesser on here okay i need to get behind here oh no could have been worse and i'll try to finish it off right here okay let's run let's run the hell away should be fine now Yup, we're fine, we're fine. One shot, we took no damage. So now we want to stay the hell away from this, but any raid can take care of this now. Okay, now a raid from the mech hive. Ah, the only thing I'm worried about is the cypher, I think. The pikemen is also bad, but the meleists are the worst. Drink some psychi team, and let's do this. And look at this, when, right when they hit, open the door. Perfect. There we go. And... Yup, distracted by this wall. Oh no, damn, pikemen. Come on, we win this. I would like to smash up these mechanoids, but we don't have a machining table, so do it at the crafting spot. Oh no, all of our food is spoiling. 12 Celsius. And another combat supplier. Okay, they do have some pretty good stuff, but I want to save on the silver. Exotic goods trader. We want to instantly trade with this. Well then, this is what I'm trading. Need an advanced component for the ground penetrating scanner. We can also afford a neutron paste dispenser, so let's get that. And a slave ship. We cannot have slaves either, so... I will just buy two of their beer. Should be good. But the base is getting tighter. Well then, we got a combat supplier here. And we're 
also going to make an airlock here. So two doors here to defend the base even further. Yeah, they don't have anything I want. And a bulk goods trader, finally. So they will take all my lever here. And then I'm buying components, advanced components, and 674 steel. So we can finally expand even further. I will need one more pollution pump. And what else do I spend the steel on? I think we should go for mechs. So try to get some militors and hydroponics, maybe? Well then, we got the mech recharger in the freezer. Mech gestator up here and the subcore encoder. Oh yeah, we can also summon Diabolus here if there's a threat, which is very nice. Eve is recharging and we're going to get some basic subcores here. Our wealth is at 22,000. So low. That is absolutely great to see. I after we traded away all of those items. With the last of the steel, I would like hydroponics, but I need to expand the base a bit more. And another bulk goods trader. Yeah, this one is a tribal bulk goods trader, so no steel. Oh well, not much to trade. We are slowly running out of food here. Need more meat. And we got the Militor. And deep drilling. Let's go for ground penetrating scanner, and then we can get more resources. So the Militor has a market value of 800, so that will increase our wealth. But I hope we can handle it. We will make one more Militor, and that's it. And ground penetrating scanner. We will need 150 steel, but we have the advanced components and then the deep drills are quite simple well then i would actually like to get some hydroponics first so we need to expand the base a bit also do a few rituals to eventually reform the ideology and the second militor yeah we should be more than fine we will research multi-analyzer while we wait for more traders or just any event really we're running out of food Mechanoid Cluster. Let's see here. Psychic Droner on male. So this is irrelevant because Silver is a female. But now we cannot wander up to this area. We have restricted this whole part of the map. What the hell? A uh, random ass drop pod raid. Okay. Uh, what the hell? That really surprised me. Okay, they're all fleeing. Raid out of nowhere. And it was a drop pod on top of that. What a bloodied up base. Goodness. We need 25 steel and the corpse to resurrect Militor. So here we go. Silver is as happy as can be, which is great to see. Got a slave ship with some yayo. I might need combat drugs against raids. Work frenzy on silver. That will be extremely useful. Oh my, 180% global work speed for 8 days. Multi-analyzer. Well then, time to just research everything there is until we get more resources. I think we have enough steel for the ground penetrating scanner yeah with this in total okay we're going to expand the base like this and then we should be fine this will be 400 steel though it's a bit too much our raid from the mech hive it's the same as that mech raid but one more cypher there we go one of them Okay, just a few of them left. And the pike man, where the hell is it going? Up, oh, rip wallem. Now a raid from Miasma Toxers. Wait a second, scavenger gunner Michael, son of Colonel Silver. What the hell? Sweet Michael, I rescued you a while back. I remember you. Wow, how we reunite. Hope you don't die here. Uh, <laughs> Michael just left. He was like, nope. Well, it's minus 57 Celsius, so I would also flee away from here. But now the mechs are coming for us. And now we should be able to deal with this. Just one turret. Yeah, so that's why I don't take care of the mech clusters myself. You just let a human raid come, and then they will go for them automatically. And the flu on silver. 
another bulk goods trader. Well then, looks like we will progress faster than I thought. Sell off the human liver, got some sheep wool from a cargo pod from Randy. Well, we are broke now, so I can only buy 346 silver. They had like 739. But this should be enough to get the ground penetrating scanner up and hydroponics. So then we can get our own steel. Another bulk goods trader, except we have no more resources to trade. It's time to expand the base into something great. And another raid from Max. My goodness, both of our mechs died. And silver took quite some damage. Okay, inject some psychite tea and get going. But hey, at least the expanded base is done. So to feed one person, you will need two hydroponics full of rice. So one, two. Now the issue is power. So we will need how many toxify generators? I think we will need two extra just to power our food production. One sun lamp consumes 2,900 watts. And a raid from Tox Wasters. They will go straight for these turrets, I think. Well, they're all fleeing. There's only one turret left. Yeah, there's so much steel here. I will have to take this out. Come on, tank for me. Ah, oh, rip. There we go. Mech cluster defeated. I will need some more silver, some more organs. What is this? Quest for a paid volcanic winter. I mean, this is free. We're already living in the worst winter possible. Get the glitter world medicine and the silver. Oh no, my organ donor died. And finally got the ground penetrating scanner. So no more researching. Yes, look for steel. And there we go, scan steel. So then, how do we do this? Oh, that's so much. Okay, so the way we do this is place a deep drill, of course, and then we go for either a solar generator with a battery or just a toxify generator. You know what? I will go for the clean source. I care about the environment. Ah, ignore all of this pollution here. Well, I will need some steel for that. So now we need to wait for a trader. Ah, oh, transpod crash. Can we get the organs? And all the organs. What is this? Mech cluster? Honestly, it's only a toxic spewer, which really doesn't matter. I will take this for the telescope. It's free steel, and when there's a human raid, they will take care of it anyways. So then, they will land all the way out here. I will be sure to wake up the turrets like this, and now we should be good. Manhunter pack. Ah, uh, two wargs. So I said I wanted a solar generator here with the deep drill, but the thing is that there's permanent darkness here in the winter and uh, permanent light in the summer. So that will not be sustainable. Either a wind turbine or a toxify generator. And a raid from Idakin. 11 of them. My goodness. Well, the good thing is that there's wargs here and turrets waiting for them. Oh no, the EMP grenade. Okay, they're fine. So what I'm going to do is snort some cocaina, I mean, uh, yeah, yo, and try to just kite them. And they're all fleeing. Hunt them down, silver. Oh, three EMP grenades against mechs. And mech cluster has been defeated. Ah, oh, the reward was a telescope, so silver will never be bored. More flu on silver. Yeah, storage is getting filled up once more. Our wealth is at 35, oh no. Well then, we have a slave ship here so we can trade away some organs. I'm also buying some go juice and medicine, which should help us. Okay, hydroponics up, one battery. Ooh, a royal tribute collector. This calls for Diabolus. We have everything up, though, for our growing stuff. We have two more toxified generators. Now the only thing we need is a little bit of steel for the deep drilling. Ah, Diabolus won't summon when there's a caravan. I forgot. Look at this, and they will summon instantly. Yep. Well, then we can still do this. Okay, go juice this. Oh no, Wollem. Ah, oh, not my damn base. Okay, Eve, you have to take out the fire.
There we go, Diablo stud. Yeah, that must have been a Diablos that I've taken out with the least firepower. But at least we got standard mech tech. Manhunter pack with fennec foxes. Stay the hell indoors. Raid from the mech hive. The good thing is that we have Yeo and Goju, so we can kite them. Yeah, I think in the long run, we will have to be addicted to every drug. They're so good. We also have a shoot frenzy here, so we will deal so much damage. This damn fox. Oh my goodness. Somebody kill that damn fox. Okay, let's get the Yeo as well. Now we move at seven cells. We should be fine. And they're all dead. There we go. Ooh, a bulk goods trader. A uh, tribal one. Just selling off some stuff. Well then, I have enough steel for the deep drill and the toxifier generator. Do a beautiful Sky Lantern festival here. Send that away, Silver. And here we go. Come on, Silver. So let's see if we can get some steel now. So we finally got some steel from the deep drill here. So now it's time to expand. But our wealth will increase so much from this that we will need better security. Yeah, standard mech tech here. Get a tunneler. We will just pump out three more militors. And then we should be fine. Have a combat supplier here with a cataphract helmet. Let's do this. Well then, now we need some sort of kill box to try to handle all of the next raids. Well then, for now, a small choke point here. So this is looking kind of good. But... We will need a lot more resources for this. A mech cluster with a psychic suppressor on male. Oh my goodness, Randy. Wrong gender. Silver's not a male, is she? Oh, not a zit. Oh no, we're out of the base. Oh no, Silver. I think I have a plan. Have the mechs move all the way here. There we go. And <laughs> it's working. Just assign your mechs to an area reachable with the flames and then they will extinguish it. Now we have five minotaurs, so we should be good. Manhunter pack. Oh, four mega sloths. Think we should stay indoors. What the hell? Meteorite of compacted steel. Thank you, Randy. Well, unfortunately, we cannot mine the steel until the mechs die. So we have a slave ship here with Penosuxicline. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm buying five of them. So this will prevent infections, malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. We're going to start working on the walls here. This will be a slow project, but should be done in a few weeks. Raid from the mech hive. Oh no, eight ciphers. We can kite this. Or actually, let's see the power of the five militors. Yeah, I mean, some losses were expected, but they're all dead. I would like to make a machining table as well to break down the ciphers. Another raid from the mech hive. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Two tesseron, two pikemen. The problem is that because it's so cold, minus 52, no human raids can spawn. So Randy is only sending in mechs. But this one is actually easier than the ciphers. So we could use the EMP grenades for this. But I think in this situation, silver's firepower is more important. Yeah, the tesserons are useless because they cannot burn up mechs. Have them enter in and demolish them. Yeah, Randy, try to stop us. I dare you. Try to stop us. Militors are a great defensive option. Animal migration of snow hares. It's hunting season. I mean, Silver has leveled up from level 4, I think she started off with, or 3 or 2, and now she's level 11. Once we have level 20 shooting, then she will be OP with a legendary charge rifle. So the machining table is up now, so we can make all of these items here, but the bandwidth pack is the most important. 9 bandwidth here means that we can get our tunnelers. We will need to kill one more Diablos for that, which should be possible. Another mechanoid cluster. Oh no, an outer mortar. Yeah, we will somehow find a way to deal with this, but I have an idea. Anyways, with those mechs shredded down, we have enough resources for the rest of the kill box. So we want to build a wall right here. Should be far enough. If we can get that unstable power cell would be good, but it's also a way to kill all of them. So I'm going to sacrifice all of our militors for this.
There we go. That is all we needed. Yup. <laughs> what is going on? Well, this is awkward. Now we're up against two centipedes. Okay, we need go juice. Come on, silver. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, snort some yayo. Overdose silver, I do not care. Oh my goodness, Silver. Okay, she is about to die, so we need to tend to ourselves straight away, but that's how you do it. Jesus. Okay, all of our militors are dead, so we will be weak for a while. But this just shows you the power of the Great One, the Silver. So the only reason we survived is because of Silver's tough traits. Otherwise, we would have been dead, I think. Get back home, Silver. Going to bleed out in six hours. The Outer Mortar will activate in five days, so we're fine now. And Silver is fine. My biggest worry is that silver gets downed when the go juice expires but as long as we inject more we should be fine oh no silver come on take it out exotic goods trader hello and mech cluster has been defeated now we can also make a mortar silver's armor is getting depleted well then you're selling off a frumble horn yep silver is down now that is not good but she should get up soon there we go, she got up. Okay, I was a bit worried there for a second. I'm going to make one more mech gestator so we can make mechs faster. We are very weak now against the next raid because we need our militors. And Silver has almost fully healed. I cannot believe we won that for so close. This is why you need drugs, kids. I mean, uh, in game, of course. Ooh, waste pack infestation. Oh no. Well, this is very strange. And they're activating. Okay, Silver, you have go juice, so inject some of that and kite. Now they should go for the mechs, right? Yeah, just get inside. Oh no, now the mechs are coming for us. Or no, they're chilling. Okay, I was worried. The mechs would have been a way bigger issue. Our wealth is at 35. Oh my, it has dropped a lot. That's very good to see. The lower, the better, because raids are less intensive. Manhunter pack. Ooh, polar bears. Rare frumbos. I need this. I need to make some new frumbo fur armor. Oh no, Frumbo is in. Frumbo is in, I repeat. Now, this is a bit awkward. Okay, Frumbo, you can stay in there. Oh, this Frumbo is going to bleed out. Oh, its heart got shot. It was good that we trapped it in. Great. With this Frumbo, we can finally make some more clothing. Oh no, an infection on silver. I guess we ran out of the medicine. All the bears should be gone soon, so we're going to take care of the last Frumbo. Okay, Frumbo is dead. Bleed out in seven hours. I think we can afford the full set of Frumbo fur armor. We have 169 Frumbo fur, so let's go. A war merchant now. Hello. This is all that I'm trading. And a combat supplier. Jesus, Randy. They do have a flak vest, which I want. Let's buy this. Oh, no. What is this? A dry thunderstorm striking our base. Oh, no. And a toxic fallout, another one. Okay, silver, quite some bad items here. You have nine crafting and you make a poor parka. Okay, good, poor, normal. Ooh, what is this? Sanguphage quest? Do we want silver to become a vampire? I mean, they are quite good, but they hate the sun and fire. I think we'll just go for the joy wire. Another reason why I do not want to become a vampire is because they need death rest. So during death rest, we will essentially die to any raid, so this is horrible. I mean, in the end, we can get our own xenogenetics. We can get the best genes on silver anyway, so it's irrelevant. Another damn zit. Oh no, we cannot actually reach this one. Have to deconstruct the walls. And the kill box is finally up. So now all we need is a tunneler so we can melee at the frontier. A raid from Neanderthals. Ah, uh, they spawned right by the mechs here, but will they attack? I can need to make sure they attack. I will go out there. Follow me, Neanderthals. Ah, oh, they're just... Oh no, take out the damn breacher. Come on, what is going on here? They're destroying everything. 
There we go, they're all fleeing. But my damn base. That was quite insane. I thought they were going to go for the mechs. So I would like to construct a multi-analyzer here, but we need components. So yeah, we're just waiting for a caravan with components. And then I would like to make better mechs here, get this mech gestator, and we need a large mech gestator. All the militaries have successfully been resurrected. Now we don't have a single worry. We're unstoppable. A raid from Miasma Toxers. Uh-oh, this is not going to go so well for them. Oh, that's a lot of them, though. They have a doomsday. That did absolutely nothing, but what the hell is this raid? Oh, this will be taken care of. And more rare thrombos. Oh, if we can enrage those. Come on, thrombo. Here we go, let's go. Oh my, they're all fleeing. And the thrombo will kill the centipede. This is rampage, Randy. Yup, this thrombo will win. And the mech cluster has been defeated. And the wealth on the map is at 55,000. Oh, I need to get a tunneler straight away now. I actually need to summon Diabolus to get a bandwidth pack. This shouldn't be too problematic. I have a plan here. We will enrage the final from bone. Well, we lost more mechs, but they're all dead. Yeah, I mean, this is not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> At least we can get a tunneler now, I think. But we need more components. Our wealth is a bit too high. 50,000. Visitors to trade. Maybe they have components. Well, they have some medicine, but that's about it. Okay, we have a bit too much stuff, so I need to get rid of wealth. Yeah, I think we're just going to survive on rice now. No human meat, because it's too much wealth. I hate to see all of this go to waste, but I don't want to get a huge raid again. Get rid of all of the corpses on the map, reduce wealth. Well then, we've cleaned up the map here. Transpod crash, whatever. Well then, where the hell is my trader? I'm stuck here. I need more components. I mean, for now, we can expand the base and try to fit in the new structures. And another mech cluster. No actual big threats, so let's leave this be. Oh my, zit, right on top of silver. Expand the base a little bit more, we have enough. Raid from the mech hive. Let's see here, a termite with just a few mechs. Well then, thank god I built this expansion here, because otherwise it would have blown through here. As always, lost a lot of mechs. Oh, Jesus. But at least we have more components for another mech gestator. Come on, Randy. Where the hell is my caravan? Another raid from the mech hive. Uh-oh. What is this? Militors? Just 10 of them. Okay. Our wealth did go down after that raid. Wow. Oh, no. There are more of them. Damn, these things are tough. We need more militors. We're barely holding on, Randy. I need those components. Oh, a slave ship, please. Oh, they do have 10 components. It's not much, but it's something. Well then, so I think we will make a multi-analyzer and get fabrication, and then we can make components. We have a bad infection on silver, but we'll use glitter roll medicine. Defoliator ship. Let's see here. I think it's crushed its own mechs. There's only two Lancers. What? Another Mechanoi cluster. This time with an outer mortar in 12 days. We will just build a wall and take it out. And the multi-analyzer is finally up. Get fabrication now. Oh my goodness, Randy. Another raid. Okay, seven ciphers. But look at this. How many events? Okay, now we run. There's only a few of them left. 
we are on go juice so hopefully we can kite this There we go. My goodness, Randy. Mad Muffalos. The hell there's Muffalos here. It's time to take care of this now. Take care of the damn Cypher. Okay, now yes, the turrets. We can bait out the Infernal turrets with mechs because mechs cannot catch on fire. And there we go. That was quite efficient. My cluster has been defeated. And while we're at it, let's just take care of the defoliator. Yeah, Randy. Wait, what? Another raid. Breachers again. Oh my goodness, Randy. Let's see the stats here. Well then, this will be hell, but oh well. Go juice this and let's go. Come on, Silver. She got shot right in the liver. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We are fine. Come on, Silver. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Randy. Can you just relax for a day? Yeah, Silver. You have survived through it all, huh? You have survived hell. Later, World Medicine will tend to this, and then she should be fine. Now, we have enough go juice to stay awake, so we need to repair the damn base. And try to resurrect the mechs as quickly as possible. Silver cannot walk, but she should get up. Base has been rebuilt. Randy cannot stop us. So now we should be able to rest, right? Our wealth is at 40,000, so now we should be safe. Days on silver, that is understandable. A shaman merchant, no components. Oh wait, we made a bandwidth pack, we had enough for that. Okay, that is great, so we have 15 bandwidth. So I'll get one more lifter, and then we should get thunders. Ancient complex, what is this? Oh, that could have components, but do I leave the base for 1.1 days? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Chunks of spacecraft, more components. Is it eight components or something? Six. Now I can make the large mech gestator. Raid from Neanderthals. Hmm, let's see here. I need to lure them into the mechs. Here we go, all hell on board. Now we just need to get inside and wait for them to die. Oh, they will take them out, I think. Ah, oh, they're all fleeing. Now oh, this should be quite easy for us. And they're all dead. Rare thrombos. I do not need this, I think. Oh no, mech assemblers here. Some more mechs on our way. Okay, let's just activate the thrombos. A lancer shot it in its neck, so we will get it. Exotic goods trader. Oh no. I need to trade with them. Oh, okay, I need to get the hell down there. Oh, no, they're going to get the hell away, I think. Oh, no. Come on, now they're leaving, but we made it. Nine components. That should be good. Well, then, this is all that I'm trading. I hope it's enough for the fabrication bench. And mech cluster has been defeated. Now, then, we just need to research fabrication, and then we're good to go. War merchant. Huh? This is all that I'm trading. Transpod crash with Laurel, and he has Luciferium. I mean, now that I think about it, one colonist one luciferium is nothing we can do that let's get addicted to this once we have a good stockpile of luciferium then oh, of course another mechanoid cluster with an outer mortar uh, to be honest we can easily deal with this yep that is bad Got one of them. Oh, not a psychite binge. Oh, silver. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, this might be a tad bit bad. Oh, it went back. Well, looks like silver will be fine. And now, let's deal with this. There we go. Oh, my goodness, Randy. 
Oh my goodness. All of our mechs died, or almost. Need to resurrect them. But when they die, then our wealth goes down. Maybe we can get some components from these? Yeah, mech nodes. Nice. We are halfway done with fabrication. Come on, Silver. You know what? I think I'm going to get a constructoid. We will need it in the future. We have done enough rituals so we can reform the ideology. So I think for us, the best choice is high life or transhumanist, but the transhumanist meme would be OP. We get the sleep accelerators and all of that, so transhumanist. And we will start hating cannibalism, so no more of that. So this is our newly reformed ideology. And finally got fabrication. After all this time, how expensive is it? 12 components for missing two. Well, that should be very simple because we can just construct something. You know what? Large mech gestator you can go for now. Well then fabrication bench I think would go well here. Another shuttle crash quest. I think I'll take this for the gold. And there it is. Finally make some components. Here are the imps. Should be quite easy. I will also make a clean sweeper, because why not? And the shuttle has arrived here, so that quest is also done. Going to need one more Toxifier generator, because of power. And with this, we can finally get all of the large mech gestation up. And with the constructoid up, we don't have to worry about constructing so much. The good thing about constructoids is that they never botch buildings, I think. Raid from wasters. Well, they're all fleeing. They were breachers, but not an issue for us. Would like to get their marine armor, don't? They had a doomsday as well we can use. Uh, they will escape. No mechs died, which is great to see. Another mechanoid cluster as expected from Randy. How many of them has there been? Smoke spewer is useless. But production is underway in the base. We're so efficient now. Steel into components, components into more structures. Those are going to be a lot of centipedes because this mech assembler is going to pop out three more centipedes. Manhunter pack? What is this? <laughs> 65 rats. Ah, uh, you know what? I have an idea. Lure the rats into the mechs. Oh wait, we move way slower than the rats. We cannot do this. Mech hive raid. Oh no rats, they're getting smoked. That was not how it was supposed to go. Well, we lost two mechs, but other than that, we're fine. Bulk goods trader. Ooh, components. Now we can make components, but it takes a very long time, so buying them is more efficient. Well then, they had 36 components on buying that. We will have almost no silver here, but I'm going to mine out some more of this gold to sell to them. Oh no, they're leaving because of dangerous temperature. Oh rip. We have a slave ship with even more components, so selling this. Oh no, waste pack infestation. And everything is up. Get this tunneler straight away. We do have enough resources for that. Another shuttle crash quest? Neanderthals. I'm not sure about that. I don't think they can handle it. You would think that people in imperial armor would be fine, but numbers in this game is everything. It will be a few days until this is done, but should be good. And the plague on silver. Yeah, this plague doesn't have a thing on us. And silver is also 50 years old. She turned that. Uh, six days ago. Congratulations. You started here five years ago. Raid from the mech hive. Is this something we can handle? I'm not sure. But one thing I can do is activate the insects. Well then, this will be help. Come on, this should work. This has to work. Oh no, the mechs will win. It is crucial that you target the same enemy, because then they die much, much faster. 
And yes, like that. More rare thrombos. Do I need this? Four of them. Yeah, now we have enough thrombo for clothing. Yeah. Minus 65. No wonder the rice isn't growing. We're also going to make a turret here at the entrance, an unpowered one, because that makes the enemies enter one by one. Otherwise, they would go in clumps in here, and that would be awful. Exotic goods trader. Let's see. I would like to get some good jeans for silver. Can we do that? Well, they do have genie pack fast here. So very fast runner will be very good for silver. Get this up and we need to get some gene banks. Our wealth is at 60,000. Not bad. They do have luciferium. So I think it's time to get addicted to this. We're going to get a massive amount of that. And now we can survive 18 weeks on luciferium. Hopefully this won't be a curse. There must be an exotic goods trader in the future. Future, but now silver is enhanced and the first tunneler after all this time mr krabs welcome a volcanic winter yeah smoke spear volcanic winter it's going to become minus 70 celsius and the next tunneler is incoming i also need a mech commander helmet so i need to kill diabolus one more time They're pushing themselves in. What is this? There we go, Diablo's dead. Another mechanoid cluster here. Uh, what is this? A sun blocker. What the hell? Okay, never go up there in our lives. Well then, the goal now is to get stone blocks. I would like to make a proper perimeter. And I would also like to renovate the base a little bit. So let's do that. Well then, we need to kill the war queen. So let's do this. Now the good thing about the war queen is that she has 600 steel here. So she uses steel to summon her war urchins. So if we can kill her before she uses all of that up, then we can get some free steel. What is going on? Kill the War Queen. Oh my goodness. That War Queen is vicious. No, no, no. Oh my, Silver. <laughs> Close one. How was that so close? Oh, well, no mechs died somehow. Silver is a bit bruised. And study the power focus chip here for high mech tech. A toxic fallout. Great. And the second tunnel is in our OP. I just wish these things could deep drill so we don't have to, but oh well. Also have a transpod crash here. And for high mech tech, we will need high subcores. So we need to extract our brains. And berserk on the new prisoner. <laughs> Transpod Crash, whom is Silver's granddaughter. Um, yeah, there's no way we're getting you. You're just dead. An infection on the new prisoner. You know what? Let's just kill him off. We will get a new prisoner soon enough. Waste pack infestation. Well, more bugs if we need to lure them into mechs. Also got an agri hand here, so don't have to worry about plant cutting and growing. And finally, high mech tech. So I want a fabric core. That's the most important. The mech boosters are also quite nice. Well, now we needed that prisoner. <laughs> oh, we need plasteel. Jesus. Okay, I will have to wait for a trader then. I think for now we're going to get back into the ground penetrating scanner. Try to scan for plasteel. Going to make a new work shop here as well. Organize everything together. Oh, transpod crash. Ah, uh, yeah, right by the mechs. Well, we have a bulk goods trader here with a bunch of plasteel. Now, I really wish I got some organs to sell. Oh, well, I will get this much plasteel, 40, and then try to hope for a refugee that will come here. Also, some silver ore here we can mine. 256 silver, get all the plasteel. Yeah, we can barely afford anything. We're still missing, ah, uh, 33. Building off some gold for plasteel. You know what? I'm going to sell off the power focus chip here just so we can get all the plasteel. 
neural. And with that, we can make the subcore rip scanner. We can also get a neural supercharger here. And we can also get a sleep accelerator. We will need one more hydroponic basin because that consumes more food. There we go. So with this, we now have 35% rest effectiveness, but we still use 20% more food while sleeping. But this means we will be way more efficient when awake. And with the neural supercharge here, we get plus 10 consciousness, another 20 plus hunger rate, but also 25% global learning factor. And a siege from waste. <laughs> This will go well. They aren't actually attacking them, so I will go out there and shoot the Ismex. I will wait for them to construct a mortar so we can steal it. Come on, Silver. There we go, get Del away from here. Oh no, Silver. Silver, please run. Okay, her armor got shredded. And now all hell is upon us. Well, they're all fleeing. Are they going to come for us? That's the real problem. Well, we took quite some damage, but they're all dead. Yeah, Walsy, Eva, and two Militors. Well, we are stronger than we fought. Silver is so sad, though. What a graveyard up here, though. Well, I was going to take out the turrets in the mech cluster here, but looks like we have a siege from Irakin. These Irakin don't seem that geared up, so let's do this. Well, here they come. Come on, get Del inside. They're going for the turrets up here that I was supposed to take care of. Well, guess it was good that we left it alone. They cannot shoot through the low mech shield and they're just dead. More mortars here. We can break down and sell the reinforced barrels. Got some cloth from the siege there. Can make a poker or billiards table. I'm thinking I make this whole room here a recreational area. Oh well, time to take care of the turrets. And mech cluster has been defeated. What the hell, Randy? Oh, Randy, what the hell, Randy? Whoa, 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 what is this? This is not what I was expecting. Yeah, he is listening to us. This one is done for, but now we need to get the hell out of here. I think I'll need one more lifter. Need all of this loot back home. We need to see the sun too, so take care of the sun blocker. And the sun. Oh my, so bright. But just like that, as long as we don't go into this red circle, we should be fine. A slave ship. Hmm, we have a genie pack here. Quick study. 50% global learning factor. I need that. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. Uh, transport crash. Wait, silver is his ex-wife. So capture that guy and insert him. Have you ever wanted to extract the brain of your ex-husband? Well, that is what silver is doing. Ah, uh, I should have gotten the organs. Can I cancel? Canceling a rip scan will kill him? Uh, okay, never mind. Mech cluster again. Four unstable power cells. That's some free power. So let's see silver stats here. Wow, she has done a lot. You can look through this if you want to. 125 kills. Quite interesting. With the fabric core coming in, it can start cooking some meals for us. So now silver will be less sad with lavish meals. Our wealth is as high as can be. 70,000. I think the plan is to get a bit more plasteel and start getting lancers. So of course, lancers are great but centipede gunners will be the end game goal fabricor oh my we truly have come a long way we and the mechanoids are living in harmony got the biofuel refinery so we can get some chem fuel let's see the fabricor get to work there we go i would also like to renovate the base a bit more move some stuff out of here try to make this a proper recreational room i would also like to try to construct a better bed for more rest effectiveness a normal wooden bed is not good enough come on silver let's see good bad that's that's very good 
transpod crash, another fabricor or paramedic. Wow, she's actually really good. Oh, well, I need organs too. Well, then I think I'll get one more fabricor. Well, then, what do you think of the renovated base? I think it's time to floor it in as well with concrete for now. Oh, no, we don't have any steel. We have a slave ship here, so sell off the organs. For now, buying some go juice and also getting some neutral amin. But yeah, now we just need to make a few more hydroponics. I would like to grow, what is it? Psychoid plant. So Silver's bed setup is quite efficient. She wakes up, gets the neural supercharge, and then she goes to eat. We have enough plasteel for the lancers to so get that. Oh no, bunch of visitors. I wanted to activate these insects to attack the mechs here. So I guess I need to activate this. Here we go. Let's see if the mechs come for us now. Oh, no, they went back. Okay, very nice. Oh, now the mechs are coming. What the hell? Well, these mechs are quite... Uh, oh, no. Yeah, we can fight them out here. Why not? The last of the mech should be very easy. Yeah, and they're all dead. Now yes, the turrets, which I can take care of. We've done enough damage, get the crabs to do the rest. And another mechanoid cluster right when we destroyed the previous one. Let's see here. Another spoke spewer. Useless. Oh no, my whole deep drilling operation burnt up, I think. We have more rare thrombos here. Might need that armor. Wait, what? A Frombo self-tame. What the hell, Randy, is this? Well, this thing needs a lot of food, but damn, ah, uh, this is very good. My, Randy, what are the chances of that? Well then, God, welcome aboard, the Frombo. Now, the problem is trying to feed this thing will be quite tough. Now, I would like to try to find steel closer to the base. If not, then we have to reconstruct the deep drill. Now, the problem with God, our Frombo, is that he cannot be trained. So, our animal skill is too low. So yeah, he's going to return to the wild anyways. We will have to slaughter him. Also going to make a small research room here. So the high-tech research bench moving here. Then we also want to get a hospital bed. Raid from the mech hive. Oh no, centurion mechs. And another group down here with a centipede. And a waste pack infestation. Is this a good thing? Let's activate the insects. Yup, this will work. Yeah, rip mechs. Well then, now they should come here, these mechs. Oh wait, they all died of hypothermia. They got hyperthermic slowdown. There we go, Randy. Send me more. I dare you. Our wealth is at 70,000. Oh, I don't even care anymore. Nothing can stop us. Anyways, what is this? Lancer? I need the Lancer. Not enough bandwidth. Oh, Lancers need three bandwidth as much as a tunneler. Oh, we scanned plasteel. That's all I needed. Oh, well, I wanted some steel close to us, so let's try to get that. Inspired creativity. Let's try to get a legendary parka. Excellent. Not bad. Exotic goods trader. Yeah, selling off some stuff here then. Buying some more luciferium. I need stone blocks. And a slave ship now. Well then, you're yeah, selling off some shield cores. Maybe I should buy some more neutral amin. Here we go. Scan more plasteel. Oh, scan gold. Oh, we scanned some steel that is very close now. Okay, we're done. I will take care of this mech cluster now. So time to mortar it. They're not going to come until the smoke spewer has been destroyed. I'll just let a human raid take care of that then. Well, I need more steel now, so I'm going to destroy this mech cluster. 
What, bulk goods trader? Never mind. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. Minus 71 Celsius. This is the lowest I've ever seen. We are going to get hypothermia, or no, we can survive minus 89. Uh, chunks of spacecraft in our base. Thank you, Randy. Right on our doorstep. I know what? I need more steel in a quicker way, so take care of this. Here we go. Ah, oh, they're not coming to us. Why? Well, I think I know what to do. Yes, here we go. Oh, they're, they're all just dead. And yeah, this has been taken care of. Just one turret. And the mech cluster has been defeated. How many of those have we taken out? And what a raid from the mech hive. Randy shows no mercy. More centipedes, more centipedes and everything. Oh, a bunch of mechs died this time. Oh, well, we're fine. Anyways, got the drug lab, so now we can make drugs. Another mech cluster. Uh, what is this? EMI dynamo. We need to take care of that. And the mech cluster has been defeated. There we go, Randy. Send me more now. We have just stated our Lancer here. So yeah, we have no bandwidth here. I need to resurrect one of our Militors. So I will have to make some mech band nodes here. Another waste pack infestation. I mean, this can just instantly deal with this threat. All the mechs died. Okay. Unfortunately for the insects, they're also freezing. And two free unstable power cells. I'll be catching those. Ooh, a transport crash. I need that paramedic. And the mech cluster has been defeated. A manhunter pack here full of 45 links. Ah, you know what? I should summon Diabolus. Let's see. Ah, two Diabolus. This will not go so well. Ah, oh, you know what? This is going quite well. I never expected just a few of them to kill them off. And yeah, somehow that worked. Three upgrades. So now I can make control sublinks here. Control sublinks will increase the work speed of any mechs. Well then, we're just researching now. Hospital bed, get vitals monitor. Control sublink done, so implant that. So six mech work speed offset. You can apply six of these, so that will stack up. Meteorite of compacted steel for Mirandi. I mean, so far so good. Now I'm just looking for a trader with stone blocks. The problem with the steel base is that steel is flammable. So yeah, yeah, steel walls are 40% flammable. We have a lot of stone blocks on the map here, so maybe I can process those down. The meteorites from space. Get the crabs out there to do some work for once. They're so fast, they will be done in a moment. Oh, paramedic is up. Welcome aboard, redo off healer. So now you can tend to silver. She doesn't have to do that. Raid from group of imps. Breachers. 18 of them, not an issue. Yeah, what up now? <laughs> They're coming in one by one. That's their worst mistake. They should have all rushed in at once. 
And they're all fleeing. Might need one more of these prisoners for organs and subcores. Well, now we can floor in the base. We have enough steel. Stone blocks incoming. Let's build the Great Wall along the border. So all around here, I would like to get some clean power like wind turbines. Well, I've planned out the expansion of the base here. Can only afford this part, but wind turbines in here and everything. So now I can remove some of these toxifier generators because the map is becoming more and more polluted. But I mean, yeah, now we just need some better defenses, then we should be set. Our wealth will go up to 100,000 soon. Anyways, got gene processor. Now we need more steel though, so get to deep drilling. Oh wait, I forgot about the steel here. Get that. Wind turbines are actually quite good. Their maximum output is like 3,000 watts. A raid from Miasma Toxers. Ah, oh, a bunch of breachers. Let's see here, 20 of them. Hmm, we can take care of this. Oh, they're damn tox grenades. Okay, I think I have a plan here. Get them to go in melee. I don't even know what's going on, but kill them. And they're all fleeing. My goodness. Whole base is a mess and Silver's right toe got shot off. Oh well, we're safe. That is all that matters. Need the bots here to get up the fire. Oh wait, I have the paramedic here, no? Redo of healer is down. I need you. Well then, Max, you did good, although some of us died. Well then, Silver has been tended to with glitter wall medicine. Now we just need to patch up the damn base. I hate that steel is flammable in this game somehow. <laughs> Very good, Silver. Like nothing ever happened. And burn away all of this wealth. Expanding the base a little bit more with the remaining stone blocks. And now we should get more mechs. I think that's the plan. For example, a centipede gunner here. 255 steel and plasteel. Eight components and one high sub core. We can do that. Now, obviously, the only thing missing is four bandwidth. So we will need to get four more of these, which is quite expensive. And now a siege from group of pigs. Let's see, just 28 of them. They're still not attacking after two bombardments. I could drop a nuke on these pigs and they wouldn't attack. Oh no, they're going to nuke us. Well, at least we have mechs here to extinguish fires. Oh no, Jesus, so much fire. Come on, this has to work. They are still not attacking. Here we go, now they're attacking the colony. Get the bots assigned to this area. Try to extinguish that. Oh, Jesus. We don't have time for this. We need to deal with the raiders. All the fires have been extinguished. Uh, where the hell are they going? They're friendly firing themselves. And they're all fleeing. Yeah, we murdered so many of them. No wonder they fleed. Anyways, more wind turbines coming up here. And more mortars we can deconstruct. Another mechanoid cluster, more steel. A psychic droner on mail. Well then, researched vitals monitors. Going to place that down right next to the hospital bed. Now we just need the mech nodes here, as I said. I want a centipede gunner. A bulk goods trader. Oh, wow. Well, they had a lot of goodies, so this is what I'm trading. Silver skills are quite good now. She is very fast at mining. So I got a slaver ship here. And they had elongated fingers here, which increased manipulation. Waste pack infestation. Oh no. Well, those insects might awaken. If we need some chaos upon the map, then I know what to do. The centipede gunner is coming. There it is. Centipede gunner. It's going to take, oh no, six times two days. Twelve. Oh no. A visitor. That visitor is going to get mauled and demolished. I already know what's going to happen. Stay the hell indoors and let's do this. Mechanoids have woken up. And now that is our issue. Here we go, the big guys.
These damn mechs have to sacrifice so many of our pawns. Oh no. Everything is fine. They are at very low HP. Let me bait out their attack. There we go. And go back and forth. Need some more yayo. Snort that cocaina. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we lost how many mechs? I don't even want to count, but we will resurrect them. Ah, uh, Silver, how hurt are you? Barely. And we will have the Thunders. Just take care of the mech cluster, as always. And the mech cluster has been defeated. A raid from mechs once again. We can deal with this. Ah, that's already all of them. Nice. Exotic goods trader. Need more bad genes. Hmm, found this genie pack here with poor animals and elongated fingers. That's useful. Well then, just buying that. Raid from imps. My goodness, no break for us. 20 plus 39 humans. This should be quite easy since the imps have very bad melee damage. Um, is that all of them? They're uh, talking here, just staring at each other. In fact, they're getting hypothermia here. Their arguing is so bad, they're going to die of hypothermia. Yup, they're all fleeing. What were they doing? Just chatting and then died. We have like no power. I need more chem fuel power. So what I'm going to do is have the bots butcher up the humans. Then we don't get a moody buff. And then turn the humans into chem fuel. Oh no, I do get we butchered human like. That is not good. Oh well, I need this power. Shuttle crash quest with 10 Luciferium. Well, there will be Edakin, but we have a Doomsday rocket launcher. Here we go. Where do I shoot this? Maybe right there. Ah. <laughs> They're all just dead. Oh, that was glorious. That was truly glorious. Rescue shuttle arrived, and there we go. So the weird thing about hydroponics here is if you get a full hydroponic full of rice, turn that into chem fuel, then you get a surplus for more than what the chem fuel power generator consumes. So we can stack up some more rice here and get more of these chem fuel power generators, and you get a surplus. Oh my, the centipede gunner has been gestated. Welcome aboard, centipedo. I I think our firepower is going to expand a lot now, so I don't think I need this kill box. I would like to make a kill box with a lot of turrets and such, but for that I will need more blocks. Well, our Lancer here died, so we have some extra bandwidth here. So I'm going to permanently disassemble one of our Militors, and now we have enough bandwidth for one more Centipede Gunner. We just need a high subcore and some more Plasteel. I will need some more Plasteel, so time to mine some. Raid from the mech hive. Let's see here. Hmm, two centipedes. Good thing we built this wall here so they don't breach into here. Come on, kill them, please. Oh no. Oh no, Silver's about to bleed out. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, Silver, going to bleed out in three hours. Our centipede there just saved us. Oh well, Silver, radio feeder will tend to you. Going to have to patch up the wall with plasteel since we don't have any stone. But Silver is up and going to resurrect the Tunnler that died. In fact, both of our Tunnlers died, which is not good. Got a combat supplier with the genie pack unhappy. And a mechanoid cluster. This one has no threat, no outer mortar. So I would like to create the xenogerm here. So unhappy, quick study, and elongated fingers. Now I wanted to go with very fast runner, but the hunger rate is way too much. We're going to name this one smart because of quick study. Now we need to implant this, which will take like two days. A coma for two days. So hopefully nothing too bad happens. And Redo Healer can implant everything on her. Speaking of which, I should get Bionic 
mix here, but I will need advanced fabrication. We've been consuming a lot of lavish meals now, but fine meals take 15 ingredients and lavish take 25. For now, just eat fine meals. Oh my, okay, not a raid, a mechanoid cluster. In this case, it's much better than a raid. If a raid were to come now and Silver is not awake, that would be horrible. And this psychic suppressor here is on male. There hasn't been a single one targeted towards female, which means that Silver must be a male. And Silver is soft and happy. It's a shame this mech cluster had to land here, because we need to deep drill. It will activate in 8 days. Granite meteorite or blocks? Waste pack infestation. I think I know exactly what to do. Oh, that was a lucky shot. And Silver, when taking damage, has a pig voice. And oh, that is very strange. Ooh, a bulk goods trader. Right when I'm about to engage with this. There we go. And the mech should die. Ooh, they have a thousand slate blocks. It will be an expensive trade here. But with this, I can get a new kill box and heat box. So trading all of this. And let's see the insects all go for the mechs. Yeah, not going so well for them. Oh, the insects are going to win. That is quite nice. Never mind. Okay. But these power cells should be secured. Mech cluster has been defeated. Hold these back, the unstable power cells. I'm going to have silver construct the wall now. Just expand all the way here. And another mechanoid cluster. This time with an outer mortar that initiates in 10 days. It's like Randy forgot about every other event. Oh, this one doesn't have a high shield, so we can kill this. Make sure that they don't lose aggro. And now, no turrets here at all, so we can just walk in. Mech cluster has been defeated. I also need an ideology room here, so let's construct that in here. And the wall has finally been constructed. Now I would like to work on the kill box. Another bulk goods trader. They have a thousand two hundred limestone blocks. Yeah, what the hell do I sell though? Zero silver. Oh well, I'm going to try to sell off some items here. Yes, so I can get some limestone blocks. You know what? Sell off all the from fur and buy 300. Arctic wolf hunting silver. <laughs> and silver just demolished it. So then, I've planned out the kill box for now. Quite a simple design, but the heat box for the humans, and then they will get smoked when they reach this point. I've made it to be the exact range of a charge rifle. Very good. Let's just get started on this. No more of this tiny kill box. And we have all the ingredients for a second centipede gunner, but we're missing a high subcore. I need a human. And we're halfway done already. I mean, the main source of enemies out here here are mechs anyway so this won't be so useful the heat box so yeah i have to deal with mechs somehow that will be tough oh transport crash here he wants to join us but this seven year old will be harvested well then james your right kidney and right lung have been harvested so now you can become a centipede Another mechanoid cluster. I'm not even surprised. Some blocker. And with this thing almost done, we can deconstruct the old kill box. Temperature in the base is actually quite nice. 21 in here and 26 with the chem fuel generators. They produce a lot of heat, so we want to transfer it in between the rooms. The second centipede gunner is incoming. Ooh, rare thrombos. I need to kill this. So what do you think about the renovated base? Quite different now. Ooh, I know what to do. I will summon Diabolus and then enrage the thrombos. That should be great. Here we go. And now make sure to enrage every single one of them. Oh no. One got through. Okay, that's no problem. Repair the damn door though. Repair the damn door. Oh, never mind. Not going so great. And one of the Diabolises is through. Raid from group of imps. Oh my. Uh, yeah, we should get the hell inside. I'll have to sacrifice one of the crabs, I think.
This is chaos outside. Okay, it's time to get out of there and finish them off. The imps are about to flee. There we go. Well, the whole map is a complete mess, but we killed them all. Thrombos, imps, mechs, a wall mechs. I need you to deal with this, repair everything. I will need one of the imps for more high sub cores. So now we can make one more mech commander helmet since ours is almost broken. And I can make one more control sublink. A psychic ship now from Randy. Let's see here. That is very simple. It is targeted towards female this time. Oh my goodness, Randy. Another Frumbo self-tame. What is Randy doing, actually? And mech, I mean, ship part has been defeated. I'm so used to mech clusters. Oh no, silver is down. The hell? Come on. Uh, where is Rido Feeler? Attend to her. And administer go juice. And with those thrombos, I can replenish silver's thrombo for armor. But now I need to patch this up real quick. Was it right there? What was that? I've exploded my unstable power cell. More transpod crashes for high sub cores. Raid from the mech hive. Breachers. Our second centipede is coming in in this, this three days almost. There we go, my goodness. All of these raids are hell, just hell on earth. But we're fine, we did lose a bunch of our combat mechs. Well, we've temporarily patched up the base here with steel before we got more plasteel. But now we can deconstruct this here and here. Yeah, I think in the future we might have to make the whole base out of plasteel. It is the strongest material in the game. And our wealth, oh, it was at 100,000, yeah. Too deep infestation, hmm. Oh well, they're all dead. And here we go, the second centipede gunner. Welcome, senti. I mean, this is just great. Now we're really secure. And a raid from Irakin. Oh no, drop pods all over the place. Okay, get the hell inside and get into the kill box. Nobody land inside of our perimeter, which is great. Oh wait, I have the heat box. But I think our Molotovs got blown up by that Diablo, so we cannot activate it. Uh, one of the pigs landed in here and has destroyed some of our mechs. Oh well, we don't have time for that. Doomsday, kill that. Come on, silver. Okay, there we go. And we will take their doomsday and completely destroy their whole career. Yup, <laughs> they're all fleeing. And the pig down here has been taken care of. Nice. Uh, Silver's right finger got shot off, but other than that, she's fine. And a manhunter pack. No rest from Randy. And a waste pack infestation. Maybe I should summon the War Queen. She could deal with this. Oh, not these mechs as well. Okay, we're fine. Okay, now we need to deal with this.
There we go, they're all dead. So now the issue is plasteel. We need a lot more of it. So we'll go back to deep drilling here. And these mechs have awoken now, so do not go near. Well, all the walls have been rebuilt now, just like so. I will probably need one more constructoid. Oh, a royal tribute collector. And they're going to fight the mechs here. We might have to get into the kill box for this. And okay, they just went back. Another two deep infestation. Well, now we really need advanced fabrication, so have silver researched that. I need the advanced components for bionics, and what is it? Ultra mech tech here, the mech lord armor. Oh no, mechs are attacking us because of a caravan. Turns out we are OP with the centipedes. And uh, the mech cluster now, we have to take care of that. Oh, not these, please. Oh, one cell off. Okay, two more unstable power cells. I would also like to replace some of our doors here with outer doors. In the long run, this will save us a lot of time. And the map, once again, is nice and clean. We are halfway done here with advanced fabrication. Yeah, we'll have to get one more fabrication bench, I think, and one more fabric core. I will also have to expand the base in the future. So for now, I want to fill in this section here. Raid from the mech hive. Breachers. Ah, oh, come on in. Well, they're all dead, but this damn cipher. There we go. Finally got some Molotov cocktails. Crafted those up. I do love Molotov cock tails and advanced fabrication so now we want bionic replacements here but to do this we will need what is it components steel plasteel and gold okay that is quite expensive actually exotic goods trader maybe they have something well then this is everything that i'm trading oh bulk goods trader maybe they have some what is it stone blocks they have a thousand two hundred and thirty seven of those getting 800 marble blocks so this is what i'm trading and with this i would like to expand the base more specifically i want to move our hydroponics from our well living area here into a proper room i'm going to double insulate it because it's minus 57 indoors need to make sure the hydroponics area is nice and warm so for the perfect hydroponics layout you want to go one two one two one two and like a shuriken you want to go one two three and four so this will fit perfectly in the sun lamp area as you can see bionic replacements well now we just need to mine some more steel and a raid from the mech hive let's see here all ciphers that is no problem 39 Uh, one of our mechs died. Oh well. Jeez, uh, somebody take care of them. And they're all dead. Well, that is a lot of resources, so that's what we like to see. Uh, another raid from... What is this? 99 Militors. What the hell? Okay, I have an ace in my card. Once the Militors reach this door, we will activate the insects. Help us. Yup, insects versus max. Oh no, the max won. Well, they're all dead. It worked. Thank God we have the waste pack infestations as backups, you know. But oh my, the kill box has been ravaged. Well, just ate one more fabric core and resurrect our dead mechs. But this is like 3000 steel at least. This is so much. Another bulk goods trader. Well, they had more stone blocks, so 800 granite blocks and some other things. Hydroponics are soon up. Here we go. And we've deconstructed all of these hydroponics, so way more space now. 
Another mechanoid cluster. Psychic droner on mail as always. I completely forgot about the sun since the sun blocker has been here. Oh my, we haven't seen it in decades. And all the hydroponics are up. So yeah, now we just need to get some gold here for advanced fabrication and get some bionics for silver. Let's do that. Manhunter pack with... 48 boom rats. They're going to die to the mechs. Oh no, then the mechs will come for us. Okay, mechs. I mean, they are coming for us, but they should come back since the psychic droner is still up. Yep, there we go. They went back. And now they're coming for us. Oh, because this is burning up. Wow, we have actually gotten so powerful. And now just a few turrets. Oh no. Uh, rip our crabs. Never mind. Mech cluster has been defeated. So we almost have enough plasteel for another one of these, what is it, centipede gunners. I think the centipede blaster has the better guns, so maybe we should get ultra mech tech. Oh well, I think one more centipede gunner and then we get the centipede blasters. So no more militors. Goodbye. The first militor that we ever got. Goodbye. Now we just need one more band node for the centipede gunner. One thing I would like to do is actually double layer the walls here on the base. So let's do that. The next goal. Anyways, mining for gold now so we can finally get advanced components. A lot of transport crashes here, so free organs and high sub cores. Our wealth has just been growing and growing. A psychic ship. Okay, an apocriton. Oh, this is very juicy and spicy. I'll have to take this out. If there is a waste pack infestation, then I know what to do. I'm also going to move some of our production area into here. Much more space. And now we can start making bionics for silver. I think the arms and legs are the most important. Rare thrombos. Ooh, well, that's more silver, so let's go. Okay, I think three is enough. Waste pack infestation. I predicted it. Well, if I can activate this now and that. This is always lovely to see. I was supposed to activate the mechs first. There we go. Ah, uh, they're going for a frumbo. What the hell? Need to make sure to close this door here. Make sure they go for the mechs. Oh no, this mech cluster awakened. That was not the plan. Well, uh, yeah, we just stayed the hell away from that. Okay, uh, looks like they're coming. Well, then we've taken care of those mechs, but this one remains. I'm happy to say that the third centipede gunner is coming up. So now that I have a lot of loot to sell, there are no traders. What is this, Randy? Yeah, send me someone. I need more resources. I'm also going to get a moisture pump right here. Yeah, I really want to get rid of all of this water. It will take quite some time, though. One thing that I would also like for the kill box are some turrets. So outer cannon turrets and uranium slug turrets. Oh, no. No, acidic smog has begun due to pollution in this region. Yup, we have 19% pollution and outer cannon turret. But my old steel vein has expired, so now I need more steel to construct this chem fuel power generator. I need a trader, Randy. Ah, uh, you know what? I have a simple plan here. We just move one of the unstable power cells. Raid from the mech hive. Breachers. Uh, this doesn't seem too difficult. Come on, breachers. What do you have? And they're all dead. We barely have any resources to rebuild the walls. We can only do that out of steel, but steel is flammable. Oh, Randy, send me a trader. Another toxic fallout. Not an issue. 
A slave ship. Something at least. Oh well, they don't have much. Oh no, we're overflowing in rice. I need more chem fuel generators. So this could be a bit risky, but getting a long range mineral scanner here. This would allow us to scan, for example, plasteel or gold, but we would have to go out into the map to get it. But with the tunnelers, it would be very quick. Let me try it out. The worst of the toxic fallout has already settled. Nice. And the third centipede gunner is here. Welcome aboard, Sento. I think it's also time to start making all the bionics so unsuspend these raid from the mech hive okay let's see here one diabolus two and three diabolus interesting i think i will have to mortar them Oh my, we demolished them. Uh, uh, another raid from the mech hive? Ah, great. More centipedes. Back to back, Randy. Oh, also have a slave ship here. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. And there we go, just like that. EMP grenades in this case was the right choice. Oh no, I don't see my charge rifle. Please don't tell me it got destroyed. I actually think it did. Wow, that's uh, very unfortunate. I'm going to have to research, where is it? Pulse charge munitions and try to get a new one. I've also made some mech gestation processors and more control sublinks. So the mech gestation processor, of course, increases the speed of the mechs in a mech gestator. So let's see here, mech gestation speed double. An exotic goods trader need this while you're selling off some organs and two thrombo horns. A waste pack infestation. This might be our chat. Okay, get the hell back from there, Eva. This might be the chance to take this out. There we go. Walden insects. It's time to wreak havoc. Yup, War Queen, everyone is getting destroyed. Yeah, those are a lot of insects, but they're all dead. That was nice. As I said, the waste pack infestations are a backup for everything. I'm going to let the mechs handle it because I don't have a weapon. Or Silver doesn't have a weapon, only EMP grenades. And they're all dead. Nice. Well, now I want to take care of the mech cluster, so let's go. Look how much loot there is, and we can now get ultra mech tech. Mech cluster has been defeated. The sun will be ours. And we have four new unstable power cells. Let's study the nano structuring chip here. And there we go. So centipede blasters and mech lord armor. Yeah. And pulse charge munitions. So with this, we can get charge rifles. Now I just need one more bionic, the bionic eye. And then I can install all of these bionics. A charge rifle only takes two advanced components and 50 plasteel. An excellent charge rifle, not bad. We have so much yayo now from Psychite that we're just going to take it daily. Raid from imps. Okay, attacking immediately. Now this shouldn't be a problem. We can finally test out the heat box for once. Getting a bit toasty in there, no? Ooh, bulk goods trader. Hello. But they're all fleeing. Ooh, what is this? Shell crash quest with imps? A healing enhancer could be really useful. 50% more natural healing factor. Here we go. Ah, we can handle this. Easy. Yep, 
Yeah, they're all fleeing. So I have a gene here that I would like to implant. Major cell instability is quite bad, but low sleep, quick study, elongated fingers, tender skin, whatever, and unhappy. So I think for now, this is good. Smart 2 is the name. So we will implant those genes once we have the bionics installed as well. Anyways, it's time. We have all the bionics and all the xenogerms. So look how many bionics we're going to install. All right, the healing enhancer 2. I'm going to make sure that our combat mechs are on work here. So when silver is down and there's a raid, then I can assign them to an area and hopefully buy some time. Here we go. Silver is about to increase in value so much. Xeno germination coma. Ah, we should be fine, right? My goodness, silver. She's getting upgraded. Praise the Omnisaya. The machine stands strong. Not a zit. Oh my goodness, Randy is trolling us. Okay, let's get some mechs there. I don't care who. There we go. All nice and done. Now we just have the bionic heart and healing enhancer left. And silver is up. So then, silver, how are you doing? You are worth 10,000 wealth now. Uh-oh, that does not look too good. I think now we will research ultra mech tech, get going. Maybe it would be a good idea to deconstruct some of these walls here and place an auto cannon turret. If I position them in this way, then if one explodes, then the explosion won't reach there, I believe. And with the low sleep gene, silver almost never needs to sleep. Well then, the first auto cannon turret here. Mechanoid cluster. Let's see the stat doesn't look too good. Well, we just need to mortar this. Okay, there is a mech high shield, but I have a plan. Okay, this is going to start firing now. I will have Mr. Krabs attack this unstable power cell. That should do it. Goodbye. Royal Tribute Collector. Ah, uh, yeah, this will not go so well for them. Uh, I have to watch the centipedes. Uh, I want to watch both. I mean, the auto cannon turret here is demolishing. And yeah, they died. And they're all dead. And the mech cluster has been defeated. Yeah, I mean, the next task, I think, is getting a centipede blaster and mech lord armor. We are almost done with ultra mech tech. We can afford one more auto cannon turret, so construct and construct. The reason I have it behind here and not to the side is that cyphers will often go and destroy it, whilst we can defend these auto cannon turrets. One thing that I should make for mech clusters is a smoke launcher. So mech clusters or turrets cannot shoot through smoke, so we need this. You know what? I should get some IEDs for the kill box. Would be nice. Ultra mech tech. Well, as I said, IEDs over here. And I want to test out the long range mineral scanner. But now I want a centipede blaster. Hmm. A hundred more plasteel than a centipede gunner. IEDs, so long range mineral scanner. Okay, long range mineral scanner. Oh, I would actually like to research psychoid brewing. Get some psychic tea. And a long range mineral scanner. So we mainly want plasteel because plasteel takes so long to drill up. Psychoid brewing, good. Waste pack infestation, the backup is here. Bulk goods trader, finally. While well, making a huge trade here. Blocks, luciferium, neutramine, which we don't have. So now we can finally repair this. So the moisture pump is not necessary. It has already dried up or turned it into ice. We also have a lot of dye here, so let's dye the colony. We can soon reform the ideology again, so do a few rituals. Oh, that is... Yeah, that's all of it. So I think we will go for high life here. Get silver nice and high every day. So we get a drug cell price improvement, drug crop harvest yield, and drug synthesis speed. We also get the bong. <laughs> well then, this is the newly reformed ideology. I would also like to get Silver's bedroom into unbelievably impressive. So very impressive rec room, bedroom, and dining room, but this will all increase. Oh no, one of our mechs is stuck in here. Oh, we have our auto bong here. I want to make this. Raid from the mech hive. Let's see here. 36 ciphers.
<laughs> that IED. Well then, we're fine. We're fine. Ah, Silver lost her left ear. Going to have to get a, what is it? A cochlear implant. Well, it will only take 22 hours to resurrect Sento. Oh, finally, a palastial lump. Where the hell? Oh, <laughs> I mean, that is literally five days from here. I can never do that. Oh, another one. Uh, this one is a little bit closer. I mean, I know that I'm going to leave the base for one second and Randy will send us a raid. I'll try one more time and if it doesn't work, then I'll yeah, stick to deep drilling. We found one more plastil and it's so far away. If only I could send the tunnelers on their own. Yeah, I need silver to come. It would be like four days in total. No, no, no. This was a bad idea. Oh, here we go. The outro bong. Ah, that is glorious. Yeah, stoned on smoke leaf. <laughs> Another raid from the mech hive. This time with a lot of centipedes. 18. Well, I think we should just activate the insects here. Our backup is needed. And close up the door. Come on, insects. Hmm, still a couple of them that are alive, the centipedes. Hope this is not too many of them. Come on, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, that worked out wonderfully. So we can handle those, but if that whole group had come in, I think it would have gone differently. Look how many centipedes died. Oh well, the last one here is at 16 HP. And they're all dead. Another raid from the mech hive. Okay, Randy, at least it's nothing bad. Wow, this is very easy. Do I need the turrets for this? I don't think so, right? Let's try to shoot the IED. I mean, the biggest problem here are like Apocritan, War Queens, and Centipedes, but everything else is very easy. Even human raids can just get grilled. Um, another what? Another raid from the mech hive. What? Okay, it's only seven, eight of them, but why is he doing this? Here we go. All hell on board. Attack the IEDs. Come on, Silver. Oh my goodness, how the hell did we win that? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess centipedes are very tough. They are really, really tough. And we lost no outer cannon turrets. Huh. Infection on silver, that is uh, expected. Ways pack infestation, more backups, thank you. And just like that, we've rebuilt everything. Need to repair the kill box. Well, we have 400 plus steel, so all we need is some steel and more bandwidth, and then we can get the centipede blaster. Instead of bandwidth nodes, I think I'll go for the mech lord helmet. So I need to kill one more apocritan. Place down a mech bandish. Well, time to summon him. The first apocritan is extremely easy. Way too easy. Goodbye, apocriton. There we go. So a mech lord helmet, 120 plasteel, 6 advanced components. Well, this will be great, silver. Make this silver is becoming too powerful. Well then, make a centipede blaster. Not a too deep infestation. Ah, 
and a centipede blaster, the best mech in the game. Hmm, we have an imp here with some good genes that I would like to extract. We got a gene extractor here. Where is it? Right there. We will install some peg legs on the new prisoner and then harvest them. So Sif will not be able to walk. Just a breathing gene donor. Too deep infestation. And a go juice addiction. It's finally happened. Well, both legs extracted, so now she cannot walk. We can just put you in the worst conditions possible and you won't be able to do anything about it. And here we go. So the genes of an impid. I mostly want the negative ones so I can have more positive genes. And I mean, poor plants doesn't matter. Poor animals doesn't matter. Weak melee damage doesn't matter. A bulk goods trader need this. While getting some wood and neutral amin. I will also replace the outer walls of our base with stone. Oh, here it is the centipede blaster centipeda welcome aboard so yeah four centipedes can you imagine i would actually like to get one more of these bad boys so let's do that i mean we have war queens and everything here but centipedes are just the best bang for the buck i mean a lancer here is three bandwidth and a centipede is four and i mean two lancers are six bandwidth but two lancers are worse than one centipede with the walls replaced i'm also going to replace the doors of the base and a siege from Irakin. 43 of them. Some of them have doomsdays. I mean, either I can use the insects or just bomb them up and then um, heat up the heat box. Yeah, I think we need the insects for mechs. Oh no. They still activated the insects. Okay, well, I don't need to do anything. Yeah, no, they're already fleeing. My goodness, but now we need to kill the insects. We get a doomsday, which is really nice. Sniper rifles. Ah, oh, that marine armor could be really useful. Or you know what? That just reduces movement speed. You know, we need some flak armor. More specifically, a flak vest. So let me research. Where is it? Plate armor first. And they're all dead. Well, we will extract Sif's genes again. She will die from this, but it should be enough. And um, plate armor. Get some flak armor. Raid from imps. Sappers. Well, a group of 16... 33 in total. Okay, we will split up two centipedes each. Okay, they're going to break through here. Oh, no, we're getting cooked. This group is fleeing. Come over here. It's fire foam pop. Good. One more group is fleeing. Oh no, silver. And all of them are fleeing. I heavily underestimated Tinder skin here. Well, more genes to be extracted. We can also get the rest of the control sublinks here. Max that out. Mechanoid cluster. Why am I not surprised? Ah, uh, why am I surprised that there is almost nothing here? Well, I didn't notice, but we have a very bad or a slightly bad thing here. A brain scar. So now the brain only functions at 70% efficiency. There are two ways to fix this. Yes let it be and let the luciferium heal it so it can even heal old scarred over wounds or brain damage so silver will be fine i hope alternatively we can get a bio sculpting pod and wait like six days which would be quite bad so one of those damn imps somehow penetrated our what is it the mech lord helmet we have maxed out our control sublink here so now our mechs work at 36 percent work speed while one of these imps are the Depressed. His son died, his other son died, and his wife died. I would also like to take care of the mech cluster now, so activate and lure them into the kill box. They're going back. What are they doing? Everybody come in. There we go, four centipedes demolish, and there's just one, two, three turrets.
And the mech cluster has been defeated. Yeah, I don't want to have to manually burn everything away. So what I'll do is get a few crematoriums. One right there, another one right there. Yeah, these simps have misbehaved very badly into the gene extractor. Prison break now. <laughs> oh my goodness. He just unloaded on the base. He's going to burn himself. We have an exotic goods trader, so getting a bunch of goodies. A reprocessor stomach, super heal gene. Rare thrombos could use this. Yep, thrombo revenge. Not even a challenge. Look how much meat that is. A raid from Neanderthals. A group of 78 humans. The heat box is working wonderfully. They're all fleeing. Very, very nice. Hmm, maybe I should get some Neanderthals for jeans. Would be great. I only managed to save one. All of them burnt up. And flak armor. Yeah, the base is becoming more and more beautiful. Silver is painting the base now. I'm going to kill Apocriton two more times to get the mech lord suit. There is a lot of steel. When raiders arrive, you just smelt out all of their weapons. And you have unlimited steel. And a raid from him. Spreachers. Let's see what happens here. Might be a bit too many. Okay, no, that's way too much firepower. Yep, that's a rip. Oh, well, they're all fleeing. Need to resurrect Centipeda. Way more weapons for us to smelt. Uh, we have way too much rice. Start growing some drugs, maybe. And just flooring the entire base for once. Royal Tribute Collector. Well, I will summon up a Critten now. Now I know that he will spawn exactly when they leave. So we'll wait. Wow, I think a lightning striked this or struck the ID trap. That is extremely rare. Let's see here. Nothing too difficult. Oh my goodness. Okay, that thing is going straight for silver. Completely wiped off of the face of the surf. Yes, one more before we can get the mech lord suit. Oh, we need uranium for that. Where the hell do I get that? I will have to deep drill for it, I suppose. One more raid from the mech hive. Ah, breachers. Hmm. Okay, I have a plan here. We need to construct some barricades. Where the hell are they going? Yeah, rip the damn base. Come on, mechs. Come on in. Uh-oh, this is not looking too good. Okay, uh, redo of healer you need to extinguish. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. The base might be... A bit broken. You could say that. That, uh, yeah, that hurts. That absolutely hurts. Okay, rebuild this whole damn thing now. We need more power, that's for sure. Oh, our brain scar healed. When the hell did it heal up? That's very nice. Luciferium for the win. Okay, mechs are starting to work on it. I'm going to place down a mech booster here to speed up the process. Silver, you have to help with construction. Oh, I need a lot of steel now to repair. Silver, get to deep drill. Drilling. No way, the deep drill here got exhausted, so... And we don't have the ground penetrating scanner. Okay, I need all the steel to go towards the ground penetrating scanner. Let's see here, steel, steel, steel. Okay, there's some more steel right there. And then this one right here. Exotic goods trader, do you have steel? Oh, you have robust gene. That is very useful. Well, more steel coming in. Got this outpost up, so now we should be able to rebuild. Well, at least power is now secure. I need all the mech bandwidth to resurrect the mechs.
birthday on silver dementia because she's 56 well dementia is pretty bad but i think luciferium will cure it yeah silver started out 11 years ago she was 45 when she started and now she's 56 oh no some of our mech corpses got blown up i think by the unstable power cell so now i need one more lifter fabric core the agri no the clean sweeper as well oh my hmm what is this air assault he wants you to provide one soldier to carry out the attack on a site that is guarded by five wasters i'll take this for the advanced component oh my goodness where the hell are we this is not the sea ice it's been so long since i've seen land And there we go. I mean, we can bring back a lot of stuff here. You know what? I'm just going to take their whole damn base. Here we go. All of this. Well then, this is all that I'm bringing. Should be good. Okay, Silver. What do we have here? Transpod crash. Oh, I need some more high sub cores, but she's part of a faction. Raid from the mech hive. Let's see here. Bunch of Diabluses. I think we can deal with this. God damn, that is tough. I mean, my biggest worry there is silver in the corner. I mean, she is getting cooked. Thankfully, nothing too major. Although we lost one of our Mr. Krabs. More steel, I suppose. So we can rebuild the base or... Look at it. It's already rebuilt. Well, I would actually like to kill Apocrita now. Just so I can get that damn suit. We do have some thrombos here that can help. Let's see here. A Diablos in the mix. Waste pack infestation. Oh, that is not necessary. Thrombos. Yeah, they cannot do anything. Yeah, I forgot to have the auto cannon turrets active for the last like five battles. I completely forgot about them. Ah, oh, no silver. Oh my goodness, Silver. Uh, yeah. That thing just demolished you, the Apocrylon. I want every single mech on top of that Apocrylon. Yup. <laughs> oh, that worked. Okay, Radio Feeler, you need to help. Silver is safe. Confusion Silver. This happened because of dementia. Got a slave ship here and they have a circadian assistant. So this thing will reduce sleep fall rate. At this point, we will never have to sleep. We also have a bunch of genes here. I will make a new one soon. Transpod crash here. I need that high sub core. You will become a centipede blaster, I think. Yeah, we just need a bit more steel and plasteel. A mechanoid cluster, fog, weather controller. We can leave that for a while. We have quite the exotic goods trader here, buying a mega screen television. Now we can watch movies at 8K with the Samsung LG TV. A psychic ship. Okay, nothing too complicated. It's on mail. And a zit on silver. What is Randy doing? I also got this gene here the Toffin, and it is absolutely crazy here. He can check it out, but we've added Robust, Very Fast Runner, uh, what else? Super Fast Wound Healing. We're going to name this one God. Oh, we have no more rice. Oh my, we have no more food. Almost no more food. Oh uh, no, Raid from the Mech Hive and Silver has Dementia Breakdown. Yeah, this is, um, this might be the end. Silver, please. Oh no, Silver, come on. Oh, no, Silver. Uh, she's fine, right? She's fine. Going to need Redo Feeler here. Here we go, rescuing Silver. But the ciphers, yep, that does not look good. You know what we will do? Just stack up all of the mechs there. Come on, this has to work. Yep, it's, uh, looks like it's working. And silver is fine. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of mechs here. Every single one of our mechs are just stacked up there. I mean, this seems to be working wonderfully. And silver has been tended to. 
How is that not the end? If they had cut off her head, that would have been it. We're very lucky they went for the legs. Get some go juice for silver. Silver is up. Hello. Okay, silver, we need you to come. Ah, uh, never mind. They're all dead. There we go. Oh my, so many mechs died. Ah, uh, we're losing power. This is not good. Make some more wind turbine, please. Raid from the mech hive. Breachers. <laughs> Randy is not giving us a break, huh? Well, I have a plan here. Open this up. I'm afraid they're going to break into here. So I need to deconstruct and move these unstable power cells. Oh, they're all dead. Jesus, Randy. So, slow down, please. We have, like, no power. Yeah, we are in for some dark times. No power, no nothing. Oh, Silver's dementia has sealed because of Luciferium. That was very quick. And now a Psychite addiction. Oh, uh, yeah, you need a lot, Silver. So, Silver's bionic leg got cut off. When did that happen? Well, I'm going to need a new one now. Bionic leg. And uh, we have no power. We need some Toxify generators while we wait for chem fuel. Oh no, cargo pods with skulls. So I was wondering why the wind speed is so bad, but apparently fog is the worst weather for wind. There is no wind. So the only option we have is to take it out. We have Centipedo coming in eight hours, so once he's out, we will take it out. Well then, Centipede is out, so now it is time. We need to do this. Is there a high shield here? Only a low shield. Should be able to mortar this. Just in case, I got some EMP shells here we go. What the hell is going on? Get behind here, Silver. That was much harder than it had to be. Uh, yeah. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Left eye cut out? <laughs> well, what can you do? What we need to do is take this damn thing out. Okay, at least the fog is gone. Oh no, what is this? Hypothermion silver? Oh, her parka got destroyed. Uh, redo of healer. Yeah, she's going to get downed, I think. There we go. And rescue her. Well, good trader. Yeah, they have chem fuel, 400 of it. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. Should be enough to quick start this colony. No, 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 not a raid. Oh no. Oh my, we got down, but even though we got down, it looks like we'll be fine. Come on, our mechs have to win. Come on, you need to save silver. Oh my, they made it. How close are we to dying right now? I mean, it feels like any moment now that this might be the end to this colony, but yeah, somehow we survive. Okay, silver, safe once more. I mean, ever since we got that breacher raid in here, everything has just been going badly. I don't know why. They destroyed quite a bit of our base, but... I mean, this is just a snowball effect, you know? I destroyed the damn fog thing, the fog climate weather controller. So why is it foggy? While well, repairing the mechs now, we need to repair the kill box, we need to repair our walls, need to reconstruct the wind turbines. Yeah, I'm really going to need that bionic leg. Uh, Silver needs a new goddamn eye. Another waste pack infestation. Ah, uh, we have two backups now. Wait, why did I completely forget about that? Ah, oh, could have used it for previous raids. Oh well. Anyways, power is, yeah, looking very good right now. This is very, very good. But now we have almost no more food. I need this rice. We have a shoal crash quest here with a healer mech serum. This could be really, really useful. Let's get that. Now, this might be crazy because there is a lot of pigs coming their way. But I have a plan. A doomsday rock 
rocket launcher is all we need. Now she only has one eye, so she will be a little bit inaccurate. Ah, that did barely any damage. Or actually quite a lot. This should be enough. Okay, they're all fleeing. We did lose Senti, but should be enough. So, who needs to get in here? Okay, this guy needs to get in here. And quest completed, somehow. I mean, yeah, the base is becoming more and more secure. We have at least a lot of power now. Group of pigs, are you kidding me? There's not even 20 of them. They should just go for these turrets. Yup, they, uh... Oh no, they took care of the mech cluster. And they're all fleeing. I'm going to need one of those pigs for a high sub core, I think. Almost all the mechs have been resurrected. You just need the fabric core. And the toxifier generators can disappear now. It has served its purpose. Are you kidding me? <laughs> War merchant here and they activated the insects. The only reasonable thing to do is to activate this ship part. Yep, that should do it. Grilled insect meat on the menu. And we can claim all of this. Deconstruct. Okay, I thought we were dead. Like, okay, I got the last fabric core. And because it was unrestricted, <laughs> it went and killed itself. Well, Silver, we have a bionic eye for you. Ah, surgery failed. That is very expensive. Very expensive fail. We've also maxed out on the mech gestation processors here. So now we have 200% mech gestation speed. Okay, Silver, let's see if you can try to rescue Fabricor. It will take quite some damage, but... Yep. <laughs> Just run. Just run, run, run. Okay, it worked. A transport crash and he is Silver's grandson. Uh, I have to rescue him. So a fabric core will now take 14 hours to gestate. Wait a second. Uh, left kidney destroyed. Uh, when the hell did that happen? Ah, uh, so when we rescued the fabric core, it shot right into Silver's kidney. Yeah, this game is very funny. Okay. Well, uh, our grandchild here. I mean, Villages is Silver's grandson, but that means his organs will be compatible. Organ harvesting your own grandchild. Have you done that before? I have, in game. And uh, now you're free to be released. Well then, the left eye has been replaced again, and the kidney too. So, yeah, back to normal Silver. And Silver's grandson with his kidney out. I'm sure he loves his grandmother now, eh? Well, we really need to get back to mining, so... Oh, I'm going to have to take this out. We need plasteel and steel. Oh, we have no more high explosive shells. We have no steel. Oh, we need to make more, but we have no steel. I would also like to get this gene implanted into silver. Quite nice. Okay, more steel. I need to get all the way up here. You know what? Let's just scan for some more steel closer to us. We also need uranium, so scan for that. Okay, silver. Once again, have to implant this gene. Now, two days again to rest up. Hopefully, we will be safe. Ah, her skin color changed. Orange skin skin. Interesting. Wow, the character development is real with this one. Full bionics when she started off as a humble human and became a super god. And the great silver is up. So what's the difference now? Very fast runner, robust, super fast wound healing. Uh, yeah, that's about it. But I mean, that is amazing. She moves faster than a panther. And our wealth, 165k. Yeah, I still need 200 plasteel for the next centipede blaster. Ooh, scan plasteel. Oh my, that is a lot of plasteel. But we still need uranium. That's the only thing. Then we can get going. Ah, uh, you know what? We can just find uranium with bulk goods traders. So let's just get to mining. To be honest, I think we have the best genes available. So I will sell them off just to save on wealth. And deconstruct all of these things. Stream processors do not need them. A siege from group of Irakin. Now if I can just, yeah, murder them and then they will go straight for the mechs. There we go, finally. They're murdering the, the mechs? Wow, what a shot from half the map. Yup, 
even eat i can cannot win against this horde another waste pack infestation so we have two backups i will also need to summon the war queen because that is our component in the mech lord suit war queen a few tunnelers in the mix while well, we have four auto cannon turrets here so <laughs> this is not even going to be a challenge oh no they might activate oh no mechs do not activate insects They all just got melted off of the face of this earth. Maybe placing down a few ID EMP traps will be useful. The only thing we fight nowadays are mechs. And here are silver skills right now. I don't even remember what she started off with. But her mining skill needs to max out. Oh, we scan plasteel right in our base. Jeez. What is this? There are people who are arriving here. And Archer Brania is cousin once removed of Colonist Silver. What does that mean? And a raid from imps. Sappers? Okay, there are two groups. So this one, as well as this one. Well then, automated defense. This group right here will flee to three mechs. As you can see. I'm going to need read or healer here. And this group is doing fine. Seems like I don't need to do much here. Where the hell are they going? Oh no. Okay, this group is fleeing. And this group is fleeing. Nice. Bar from Popper. Yeah, might need more of those. So look at Silver's injury healing factor here. I mean, she regenerates so fast like a lizard. And a bulk goods trader. Okay, I need this. Well, they didn't actually have much, but this is what I'm getting. I have a slave ship here, so I can finally sell off all of my jeans. So I constructed two more band nodes, so we can get a centipede blaster right before getting our, what is it, the mech lord armor. So our second centipede blaster here. It will come in in about three days, I think. And now we should scan for uranium more rare thrombos i actually need some chem fuel and more food so yeah oh we scan jade that is quite unique raid from pigs can we just um can we just activate the insects yeah if they take out these mechs i'll just activate the insects should be good enough Yeah, one group is fleeing. They're going to destroy their own ship part. Oh, that means that the mechs will now go hunting. Okay, looks like the pigs will win. Oh no, they activated the insects. Okay, the whole map is getting destroyed. This group is also fleeing. You know what? I will just burn up these insects. There is no point getting all of that insect meat. Automated defense is always the best. Oh, no, they're activating all the... <laughs> oh, these insects are funny. All the insects are dead. We are free to roam the map once more. And here we go. The second centipede blaster. Welcome aboard, Sentai or Sentwai. Yeah, we have how many centipedes? Five of these. I want to just keep on stacking up on centipede blasters. Oh, no, huge sit. Oh, fire foam saved us. Another psychic ship. This one is some female. Uh, 60 ciphers. Honestly, nothing too difficult. And a raid from the mech hive. Okay. What is this? More ciphers. <laughs> that is extremely interesting. Well, then I will keep on murdering it. 105 of them. Okay, yup, ship part has been destroyed, so now they will all come for us. Well, a hundred ciphers is still quite a lot, so I think once they're in the tunnel, then I will activate the insects. Insects, help us. Should divert some attention. Oh, the insects um, don't even stand a chance. Okay, now it's time to back up. Activate the auto cannon turrets. Yeah, rip off my turrets.
Oh my, we did lose two centipedes, but whatever, we can resurrect them. It will only take 14 hours to resurrect one mech. That is absolutely brutal. I think the play is to get more IED EMP traps. Those really seem to help. And now a Manhunter pack. Oh my. Oh no, Sento. Rip. Ooh, we scanned steel right by our base. Well, we've killed off the bears, patched up the base, but now we have another raid from Max. This one doesn't even look that bad. Finally, scanned uranium. So then, way out here, but we need this. Too deep infestation in the middle of the base. Meteorites of compacted steel. <laughs> that is strange. Landed straight on our outpost. Rand three this playthrough. How is this possible? Yeah, I have no idea, but slaughter. And our wealth will soon reach, or it was at 200,000. Yeah, I soon have that mech lord armor. Bulk goods trader, I need this. Hmm, they don't have any uranium, but whatever. I'll just drill it up. The stone blocks are more important. I can finally make a crematorium again, rebuild that. If you don't have a lot of artwork, you can just place down jade fences here. As you can see, they provide a lot of beauty. And uranium outpost is finally up. Oh, we finally have enough uranium for the mech lord suit. Yup, it's coming in. And after this, I want to research uranium slug turret. Okay, what quality is it? Excellent quality, not bad. Well then, silver, you have successfully done it. You have truly become the mech lordess. And now you have 51 bandwidth. Make one more centipede blaster. Ooh, disease the plague, but Penoxyxoline blocked it. I've been taking that every five days for the last five years. Another waste pack infestation. Yet again, the backup is here. Because of their belief, some of your colonists demand a regular age reversal. Yeah, the problem with that is that Silver will be incapable of doing anything. So she will be down during that period, which is uh, not great. I might have to tank the moody buff. Oh no. That was a huge zit. And uranium slug turret. I mean, I would say just as expensive as an autocannon turret. But the range on this thing is immaculate. Wow. Uh, yeah, we have to expand the kill box a bit. So we might have done just a few changes to the kill box here. Some more autocannon and uranium slug turrets around here. I don't think a single raid will survive, but we'll see. I also added a bunch of mini turrets here. Right now we're getting more plasteel or resources for another centipede blaster. Then I want to get more uranium for the uranium slug turrets. Oh no, a royal tribute collector activated the insects. That might be a bit too much. Heat up the heat box. And a siege. Okay, this changes things up a lot. I need to close this damn door. Come on, silver, go juice this. Here we go. Perfect. And they seem to be going for them. Just in case, want to murder them. I don't want to get bombarded. Ooh, <laughs> that was quite the shot, but the insects are swarming. Yeah, that's mortar. <laughs> yep, they're all fleeing. I think they're going to get cooked, though. Here we go, centipede blaster coming in. I would also like to get a thunder here, so one more. And the third centipede blaster. Welcome aboard, Sente. So, I mean, what is stopping us now? We have... <laughs> we have six centipedes. Well, I want one more centipede blaster. So think about it. This uranium slug turret is this far away, but it has a 34 chance to hit silver right there. I mean, that is insane. And the slug turret that is closer actually has worse accuracy. I would also like to get one more set of hydroponics, yes to be sure. So expand the base even further. Go for the perfect hydroponics layout as always. One to one to Shuriken. Uh messed it up. 
there we go i'm also going to need more chem fuel generators get a bunch of those so one problem we have with silver is that her psychite tolerance is massive so she needs way more psychite to get the same effect which means her addiction is not looking too good uh yeah we need way more yayo for now just make flake since it's cheaper yeah silver is going through it god i'm tired everything's so slow and boring especially me so i do not know this but deep drills don't benefit from chairs so my whole life has been a lie you don't actually need chairs for deep drills oh transpod crash i need someone for high sub cores need one more centipede blaster you know what i will start producing some smoke leaf and hops we will need beer and smoke leaf joints and while silver is surprisingly happy now i have her on a fully recreational schedule so that should help the mood and a siege from miasma toxers <laughs> they cannot even hit anything. Ooh, that's pretty bad. There's... Okay, now they're attacking us. Uh, they blew up some stuff, but we should be fine. You know what? I want to see the kill box in action. No heat box. Look how many centipedes we have. It's overwhelming. And a waste pack infestation. And beer brewing. I will need to get biosculpting here, because Silver really wants to reverse her aging. How will this go? Yeah, I mean, not even a challenge. Ooh, new quest here for 35 Luciferium. Only 50 manhunting polar bears. I need this. Well then, here it is. I would also like to summon... Where is it? Apocrytum. Ooh, transport crash. I need this high subcore. Ah, oh, they managed to survive. And the pods have arrived. So this should be enough to last a thousand days. And another mechanoid cluster. Let's see, this one, fog weather controller. Okay, I need to take that out because otherwise we have no wind speed. And I've finally made a bionic ear for Silver's left ear. Those are a lot of mechs though. I love this game. That was the most fun battle ever. I mean, absolutely destroying mechs like that. And now we get the smoke launcher and take care of the mech cluster. Oh, we got the third tunneler. Welcome aboard, crab. Yeah, push forth. They cannot attack us. This is small edge. We've become too powerful. And the mech cluster has been defeated. And the bots are instantly working on disassembling and hauling it. At this point, I think we can say that we will beat the game. So yeah, Starflight basics and all of this will soon be possible. And biosculpting. Now I would like to scan for some steel close to us. I will need a new mech lord helmet because ours is ready. Well then, we will kill some war queens and apocrytons. I'm not even going to interact. Automated defense... A manhunter pack full of grizzly bears. Okay, close to them doors. And an exotic goods trader. Oh no, I wish I could help you, but you're just dead. Mm, they have a neuro calculator. I might need that. Neuro calculator, and that's about it. You know what? Maybe I should get a Diabolus here. I mean, the thing is that if there's a bunch of grouped up centipedes, then the Diabolus will demolish them. So I think this would be a great idea. Well, now we just need to summon him.
So the Biosculptor pod is up and we need to do an age reversal. But as you can see, it will take the 3.5 days for us. So we can try to do this for silver. And if there is a threat that is big, then we can just cancel it. Another waste pack infestation. And of course, there is a raid when we have one day left. And of course, it is something oh, not too difficult. Okay, well, looks like I will have to cancel this. Well, we only lost a few crabs, but that's it. Oh no, silver is depressed. Oh no, there was a transport crash here and that activated a bunch of insects. I mean, I've had lightning strike it and activate it, but this girl. Yeah, I mean, now I think I'll try to get this, what is it, age reversal. Hopefully this time Randy won't send anything. Ah, oh, huge zit. Well, read off healer, you should be able to tend to this. Ah, it's all the way over here. As always, Randy trolling us with the zits. But we have 1.3 days left, so we should be fine. Okay, Silver, her age reversal is complete. So stop complaining now. I think the plan is to get Silver's bedroom to unbelievably impressive. So I need that impressiveness of 170 or more. Okay, what we need to do is get this jade here and make a grand sculpture. Another raid from the mech hive. I actually need to kill more Diabolises, so thank you. Raid from the mech hive. Okay, something big and juicy. Looks like a challenging raid to Upper Critons. Well, the good thing is that I won't be taking care of this. Well then, insects, come on. And <laughs> a manhunter pack. Okay, these uh, these ones are dead. These mechs are just dead. The insects didn't even stand a chance. Oh no, please don't open up my walls. Well, that should be about all of them. Only one centipede left. Oh, and the Diabolus is coming in. Although it will be like six days or more. But with this, then clumped up centipedes will not prevail. We've also maxed out on these remote repairs here. So these will allow us to repair mechs from a distance. Another inspired creativity on silver. I didn't manage to make the previous one. I'm making a large jade sculpture. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. A good sculpture. <laughs> uh, that's uh, pretty bad, silver. Oh, well, let's see here. Impressiveness. Hmm, not bad. Ah, uh, how many waste pack infestations have there been? Oh, no. A bulk goods trader. Not this again. Oh, no. The animals don't activate it, only humans. Oh, I was ready for a chaos of a fight. Oh, here it is, the Diabolus. Welcome aboard, Sulobide. That is Diabolus backwards. And the next Mech Lord helmet is coming in. Manhunter pack with Lynx. Ah, oh, 64, a full Minecraft stack. Diabolus, let's see what you can do. We have so much insect meat here that gets turned into chem fuel. We can just pile up on these chem fuel generators. And a raid from Miasma Toxers. There's only one group of how many? 38 people? Ah, breachers. So this is different. They doomsday the wall. Let's see if you can deal with this. Sulobide. Oh. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Come on, Diabolus. Yeah, this one was a great acquirement, the Diabolus. So, Silver is remote repairing this Diabolus. <laughs> like Bluetooth. So, I think... Oh, my. A royal tribute collector and everybody just seems to like to activate insects. Ooh, we scanned some steel right in our base. 
mechanoid cluster anyways the last mech is coming in so we ended up with 57 bandwidth another waste pack infestation the map has truly become so polluted it is at almost 40 percent pollution we also have enough jade for a grand sculpture made out of jade and the last mech here centipede blaster well then send to welcome so yeah this is our final set of mechs here so we have i think seven centipedes but yeah i mean this is the end game now we are in the end game and grand sculpture it is good well then this should now be unbelievably important impressive it is so unbelievably impressive i think that's two more mood for each well then everything we have necessary is up so time to research starflight basics so the ship will require a lot of resources so i want to make sure to have it up nice and early because only silver is able to mine up resources i would also like to max out on repair probes here so that i can repair the mechs very fast after each battle so summon apocrydon might as well take out the mech cluster along with it while well, those are a lot of mechs but not an issue so our mechs lined up like this glorious So as you can see, even though it took minor damage, they're all dead. So just some practice for the ship launch. And the most important thing isn't the battle, it's the after battle. We need to be able to repair everyone fast and rebuild everything very fast. And the mech cluster has been defeated. Need to kill some more apocrydons. Oh my goodness, so the Diablos that we have almost burnt up our nano structuring chip. So I had Rid of Healer extinguish that. Another Manhunter pack. Oh my, 51 Mega Sloths. Stay inside and summon another Apocrydon. Wow, they have quite the angle here. And another raid from the Mech Hive. Ah, Breachers in the middle of this. Oh, they're going into the kill box. That Diablos just tanked that shot. There we go. Well, now I have to rebuild all of my turrets. Raid from the mech hive. Ah, this looks like centipedes. Ah, oh, never mind. Cyphers. Only 41 of them. And another waste pack infestation. And another mechanoid cluster. Ah, uh, psychic droner on mail. We can leave that alone. Meteorite of compacted plasteel. Oh my, Randy, thank you. Oh no, silver is in the biosculpture pod. It does it automatically, but because it's biotuned, it should be faster. Oh, well, we've just had a raid in the mech cluster, so there should be nothing. And another mechanoid cluster. This one has a climate adjuster, which will turn it minus 10 Celsius lower. Well, waste pack infestation there. Mech cluster. Waste pack infestation there. Mech cluster. I think you know what I'm going to do. Well then, silver is is up once again as i said i want to activate everything but before we do that bind some of this plasteel okay this seems fine so now we need to take care of this okay i need an emp shell for the yeah the high shield here well looks like the insects will barely win here so now activate these insects Ah, mech swan.
Okay, so all the insects are dead. All the mech clusters are dead. Well then, <laughs> that was nice. Well, good, Strider. Oh my, I need more stone blocks. Well then, this is what I'm getting. Marble blocks. Jade meteorite. Well, the kill box has been maxed out. We have a lot of resources to work with. So it's time to research once more. Meteorite of compacted steel. My goodness, Randy. Has there been like an asteroid shower in space or something? Another toxic fallout, but we're indoors anyways. Just researching. Well, we have 1,800 steel and 1,000 plasteel. This should be enough for the ship but where the hell would we construct it so of course breachers need to be accounted for so either here or here but if i'm honest this section here seems pretty good so wall it off starflight basics well then i think we should get the ship reactor first uh speaking of which i will need a persona core okay yeah persona core that will be huh, might be a bit difficult actually raid from the bekaive oh yo 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 apocriton Yeah, I mean, I tried to save that nanostructuring chip, but it was too late. Machine persuasion. So I decided to get this first because of the Persona core. Want to get that nice and early, but yeah, research everything else. Persona core offer. Huntsman of the Goka Confederacy. So I need to be... I need to have 40 goodwill with them. Well, the only way to get that is to wait for a caravan and then give them some items because their closest faction is all the way over here starship reactor time for starflight sensors but with that we can start constructing the ship okay so we want to make sure that this is very secure that's the most important part and now a meteorite of silver ore oh no another manhunter pack more mega sloths only 21 So now we need all of these components, which we will, of course, get. Star flight sensors. So yeah, now we're only missing the Johnson Tonica drive and the vacuum crypto sleep casket. And a siege from Edakin. Uh, yeah, 42 of them. I mean, I could heat up the heat box, but I want to kill them personally. <laughs> Evaporated. Yup, they're all fleeing. And a raid from the mech hive. Let's see here, just a bunch of easy targets. Ah, took quite some damage there. Yet another waste pack infestation. So I need to get more goodwill with this faction here, so I'm going to accept that as a quest reward. And a mechanoid cluster. I wonder how many of these we've had. Okay, an EMI dynamo. I will just take care of this instantaneously. And the mech cluster has been defeated. Johnson Tonica Drive. Well then, we only have a little bit left here. Crypto Sleep Casket up to Vacuum Crypto Sleep Casket. So now we can make the engines here as well. All of this. And then we will just place one Crypto Sleep Casket for silver somewhere here. But I would like to enclose this maybe with Plasteel. And Vacuum Crypto Sleep Casket. So all the research for this playthrough I think has been done. So yeah, with this we are ready. We just need to get all the resources and this damn persona core. Well, everything but the ship computer core here is up and then this ship engine. And a raid from the mech hive. More ciphers. Interesting.
I always underestimate these ciphers. Well, we lost some turrets, but that's about it. Manhunter pack with a bunch of polar bears. Another Manhunter pack, two in a row, more polar bears. birthday on silver she is now 58 and has gotten hearing loss um yeah i mean we have a bionic here we can just install a raid from the mech hive uh this must be ciphers ah uh, yep i am good at guessing this now damn i need to stop underestimating these things how many 76 and yeah, now this time i'm activating the insects Hmm, this time the cipher's loose. So many ciphers, but they're all dead. Oh, sensory mechanite. First time we've gotten this. This means more pain, but also better sight, hearing, talking, manipulation, and more sleep. Silver's hearing loss has healed because of Luciferium. Like nothing ever happened. Another Manhunter pack. Yeah, I'm really worried. We usually get a lot of caravans from this faction here. And now all of a sudden they never visit. And the daily dose of waste pack backup. Oh my goodness, a shaman merchant from the Gosa Confederacy. I was wondering why they stopped coming all of a sudden. Oh no, do not go near those insects, please. Okay, Silver, go juice this. We need to give them some gifts. So you want to go down to this tab right here and gift mode. So what do we give them? We need to get 40 goodwill. Well, they seem to like plasteel. So let's see here. 41 allied points. So now we will call them on the comms console. Not sure how they have access to this when they are a tribe faction. Oh, I need 1,500 silver now. Well then, I will just mine up some silver that we scanned before. I need more storage for the base. I have stockpiled on resources here. So all of our shelves are full of resources. But yeah, just construct this out here. Silver deep drilling up silver. Can you believe it? Well, we have enough silver now. So let's see. Here we go. Request the location of a persona core. So this will cost 1,500 silver but yeah so now we need to exit the map there will be 38 man hunting squirrels uh oh 3.4 days so i have the perfect plan to reduce travel time here i will need transport pod already have that i will get the diablos with silver because the diablos has the fire burst ability and then we will just try to speed run back to base oh no i have another idea i will make a pod launcher here and store it full of steel components and chem fuel so when we land there we just build another one and launch launch ourselves back. I oh, know the Diablos is way too heavy. Well, all the pods are ready to go. And okay, those are a lot of squirrels, but we should be faster than them. Okay, do I have a plan here? Ah, uh, yeah, just run. Come on, Silver. There it is. Yeah, we can just punch them. I mean, Silver is a god. Squirrels cannot penetrate her. Not even a dent. Pick that up and reconstruct the transport launchers. And here we go, launch back. And with the Persona core, the ship is ready. A mechanoid cluster. This one has an ultim order. But now the ship is successfully complete. So we still have like 26 days until the ship launch. So I think I would like to get our relic here. What the hell? Ah, a bunch of visitors activated the insects. I need to activate these mechs right now. Here we go. Patch that wall up and yeah, now the mechs are coming. Well, the insects easily won, so now they will go for the turrets. And we should open up the kill box. Mech cluster has been defeated. Nothing can stop us. Ship launch will be a walk in the park. 
and a raid from imps. Uh, perfect time to heat up the heat box once again. Automated defense, the imps are instantly dying and fleeing. Yeah, they're supposed to be resistant to fire, but they're not immune, so they will all just die. Well then, I will accept this quest here. There will be a space drone that will land on our map. Yeah, I find it funny because when you get another colonist on this colony bar, then you have to rename the colony. But since we've been solo the whole time, it's still called the new arrivals. Well then, need to defend this. It's within the walls. <laughs> here is the raid for from pigs. So I got this quest probably when I had like no wealth. I think we got that relic quest like 12 years ago. Let's dance together. Let's dance. There we go. Okay, and another raid here. Yes, one pig. Oh no, this thing will explode, won't it? Yep. Uh, I remember this. But now we need to do another relic quest here. Okay, we need to break into a structure here. It is how far away? 1.1 days. Let's see, here's silver. But yeah, hermetic crate, luciferium. And yeah, not much else here, no? Scanned all the terminals, so we're done. There we go. And a raid from two pigs. Hmm, this quest here is extremely interesting. So if I accept this quest, there will be a site to harass us. I mean, if you read this, this is essentially free. You get the Arcotech leg and the infinite chem reactor. So where the hell is this thing? Oh, we already got the reward. And head back home. Well, looks like Silver will get an Arcotech leg. Let's install it on the right one. Replace the bionic leg. Be sure to use glitterable medicine for this. Cannot have it fail. So I was thinking to activate the ship at day 985 but then it will be winter so at minus 50 minus 60 we would only get mech raids which would be horrible so now that it's nice and warm i would like to fight both mechs and humans so yeah i think we're just going to start up the ship and have it over with and the arcotech leg is in well then the reactor is ready to power up the process will take about 15 days and the energy signature will be detectable from a long distance away you will be a Assaulted with an intensity you've never seen. Confirm. We have 3,000 steel, 1,100 plasteel. We should be good. Okay, a mech raid here. Yeah, Diabolus, Diabolus. And a raid from imps. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I can just... Yeah, I should close the door. Definitely. Come on, Silver Go Juice. There we go. Imps are fleeing. Well, they dealt a lot of damage, but open up the kill box. Instantly deleted that Diabolus. Yeah, they're all dead. Everyone is dead. Well, now, Randy, send me more. Okay, I don't think I need this many mini turrets to use up a lot of steel. Raid from Miasma Toxers. Breachers. Ah, oh, the damn high shield. Okay, they're all fleeing. We did lose a few things. And raid from imps. <laughs> well then, heat up the heat box. Now, if we can keep on getting raids like this, would be great. I mean, so far, so good. We have 11 days left, but there will be many, many more raids. Raid from the mech hive. Breachers. They're going to come through here again. Well, that wasn't ideal. We did lose one more centipede. Oh, well, rebuild, repair. Raid from pigs. Okay, attacking immediately. Heat box.
while they're all fleeing. Wow, so yeah, it's quite hard, but it is manageable. More raid from imps. And a siege from pigs. Well then, imps. What is this chaos? Well, imps are fleeing. Open up the kill box. Raid from the mech hive. Breachers. Uh, we love breachers, yup. They all come through here, I think. So this time, I built a couple of doors. Ooh, waste pack infestation. I need this. There we go. Yeah, ship launch is always stressful. I can tell you that. But repair. Jesus, I need this wall back up. I mean, yeah, we are halfway done soon. So, I mean, what do we do? We just need to prepare for more. But yeah, as long as we repair the mechs, we should be good. Okay, I need to make sure that the mechs without energy recharge and the ones with energy yeah storm recharge we need to make sure that the centipedes are healthy we need more mech rechargers please deconstruct all the hydroponics do not need them raid from tox wasters more breachers so where are they coming in from the kill box oh huge diablo shot why they're all dead Yeah, oh, <laughs> the Diablos just killed 10 of them at once, or 20. My son Panther died. Okay, so apparently someone was visiting our colony and died. And he was Silver's son. Well, then patched up the base, but more breachers. How many of these are there going to be? So we did get a triple rocket launcher. This will be useful. Yeah, that did nothing. Oh, huge Diablo shot. The Diablo is carrying us. One right there. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Look at this one. <laughs> Diablo. Oh my. Yeah, the pigs are just dead. But I mean, as you can see, the breachers are acting very strangely. They all come through this section here. Ah, it might be because of these turrets here. That's smart. But so far, so good. Keep sending me breachers, Randy. That's what we like to see. And one more mech recharger. Please recharge. Mech hive raid. Let's see here. Ciphers. Okay, only 66 ciphers. We have waste pack infestation. And a raid from Miasma Toxers. Ah, oh, they're landing all over the place. Okay, only one landed in our kill box. Oh no, one right here as well. Goodbye. <laughs> he just got shredded. They're going straight for the kill box. Yeah, they should go for the ciphers. And the ciphers seem to be doing okay. Wasters are fleeing as expected. I think we should just take care of them in the kill box. And raid from imps. <laughs> I mean, this is perfect timing, Randy. How the hell did the insects activate? What? I literally have zero idea how the insects activated. So we have insects, ciphers, and imps. Oh no, imps? Uh, yeah, they might come through. Or maybe not. Come on, imps. That is always so satisfying. Oh, the lag is real. The lag is real. And they're all fleeing. But the ciphers are still alive. Well, all the ciphers are dead. So then, just micromanaging. We need to always have our mechs recharged. But other than that, yeah, Randy cannot beat us. We have 4.6 days left. A siege from Irakin. Need to deal with this.
and they're all fleeing. Oh my Randy, what a journey, huh? Another siege from pigs. Oh my, the lag. Looks like we can still use the same oven. Great shot, Silver. Yeah, the oven is still nice and warm for them. 900 Celsius. They should not be able to make it to the other side, I can tell you that. They will add more fuel to the fire with their flesh. Oh my, I found Oscar Potocci. I'm pretty sure this is the developer for Vanilla Expanded. Art slave. Interesting. Well then, Oscar. Unfortunately, you will die, you pig. Ah, oh, you're trying to shoot silver. There we go. Pigs are fleeing. And a raid from more imps. Breachers. Oh wow, Randy. I wonder where they're going to go through. Can it be this room right here? Yeah, the AI's pathfinding is a bit predictable. That was quite simple. And uh, now we have almost no more wood for the burn box. I guess I'll have to use wooden fences. Another siege from pigs. Is this the third time in the row? And a bulk goods trader. Okay, chaos upon the map. Okay, they're all fleeing. Jeez. They're breaking through here. Ah, oh, what can you do? A dace on silver. Huh? And a raid from Toxwasters. Ah, oh, this is great silver. We need to have all the mechs on escort. And hopefully nothing too bad happens. Silver got down from an EMP. Yeah, if you have a neuro calculator, then yeah, of course. If you're half mech, then you get EMP'd. Oh my goodness, Silver. Tox gas. Oh, they're all fleeing. The lag. This has been hell. I mean, look at the map. Oh no, extreme toxic buildup. So I think what is unfortunate, but what we need to do is get this toxic buildup out of the system. So administer healer mech serum. It will be useful. She could get brain cancer or something, which we do not want. So then silver, this should work. I hope it will cure it. And there we go. Toxic buildup cured. Hmm, mech cluster here could be a distraction for humans. So yeah, another psychic emanator. I will take this. So then, how is this? There is only a sun blocker here. Yep. Ah, perfect timing. Uh, eat a kin raid. Yeah, smorder this mech cluster. Wake them up. Oh, we missed. That's not good. Now they're going to start beating on the walls. All the Eda can need to get out of here. We're going to break into the kill box. They are everywhere. Okay, one group is fleeing. Oh my goodness, my brain. Let's see here. So, mech cluster is still intact. Good to see. Need to patch up the walls. No more holes in the base, but our resources are starting to go down. We have no more uranium. Another raid from wasters. Well, good thing we have the mech cluster here. There are two groups. Three groups. So, I mean, yeah, the ship will launch now or will be up for launch in 11 hours. Then the raids will stop. So, there should only be one more, maybe. But this is great. One of the wasters fled one of their groups. So, now they're all going to come for them. And then we have the graveyard of the map to clean up. Okay, the mechs might lose. Oh, no. The, oh, no, the wasters will flee. Yup, all the wasters fled. But as long as the sun blocker is up, then the mechs should stay. But that must have been the last raid because we only have three hours left. After this, we should take care of the mech cluster, clean up the map, and then at day a thousand launch the ship. Come on, seven, six, five, four, 
Lag, lag, four. Three. Oh, the lag is real. Come on, Randy. Send me one more raid. I dare you. One second. Zero seconds. There we go. The reactor is ready. The reactor's power up sequence is complete. It is now ready to power a liftoff. Well, winter is coming, so we still have 21 days. So we are finally free. Clean up the whole map. You are free, Max. Everyone is free. Oh, wait. I need to take care of the mech cluster. And the mech cluster has been defeated. So what do we have here? Bunch of steel slag chongs, pigs, more steel slag chongs, infinite steel. And the pods arrived for the quest. Nice. But I can't believe we've done it. We're almost done with this journey. It has been quite something. Oh, I don't want to check the wealth on the map. <laughs> almost 400,000. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24 25 26 events a bulk goods trader do you know how much wealth i have to sell to you also have a combat supplier here so i can sell off all the garbage this would take forever to smelt down or burn away yeah i'm making a huge trade here Okay, the pigs still want war a siege uh yeah 86 of them <laughs> Oh, my silver mech lord suit is about to get destroyed. That wouldn't be good because then our mechs will go feral. What the? A raid from Miasma Toxers on top of us. Okay, silver, get the hell out of here. Our mech lord suit is at 0.59. Wow, this mech lord suit is being held together by strings. Okay, fire burst this. Oh, the pigs are fleeing. And now wasters are fleeing. They came out of nowhere. Our mechs are still intact. No mechs died this time. Well, so far so good. We've cleaned up a lot, but we still have so much to do. Barely made a dent. This is going to take forever. The wealth is <laughs> going down a lot because all the items outside are deteriorating. So that's probably why. We're also destroying all the bodies in the crematoriums. Oh no, silver spec suit is at 0.29%. How in the world? It's barely worth $5. Yeah, we cannot afford to make a new one, so I might have to get rid of some mechs. Well, we're going to have to remove the mech lord suit here, so what will this do? So some mechs here are uncontrolled. So I think the plan is to kill them, and once we have a new mech lord suit, just resurrect them. Okay, a raid from Breachers. Okay, the safe zone should be in here. We have lost too many mechs. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, at least the base is still safe. Another raid from the mech hive. Ah, more Diabolises. So even without the Diabolus, we are still shredding. Waste pack infestation, the backup is finally here. Let's see what we get for smelting down this mech lord suit. It's at 1 HP. Yeah, 1 out of 340. Let's see here. Ooh, a bunch of plasteel. Well, as you can see, 10 days or what is it, 15 days after. The map is a little bit cleaner now. The wealth has... <laughs> plummeted it has disintegrated my god raid from the mech hive um insects oh, this raid is not big enough for it they do not activate the insects only humans
There we go. Very important that you target the same target. And now a Manhunter pack. Okay, polar bears as always, but 60 of them is a little bit too much. Well, we only have two days left until day 1000. So the polar bears will defend us against the next raid. And if not, then they have waste pack infestation. So it has really been quite the playthrough, eh? But the ship has been collecting dust, so it's soon time to go in. We never ended up completing the relic quest, but it's not that important. So here are the stats of Silver. Silver the Great, almost 16,000 shots fired. So it is quite interesting if you want to check it out. As for the playthrough itself, we have had 162 major threats and 110 enemy raids. So on average, one raid every nine days. Interesting. Play time is at one day and 14 hours. I do have the smart speed mod, so I can speed up the game very fast. So this is our population graph as well. We've only had one colonist and yeah, a few prisoners and the colonist's mood is all over the place for silver she is bipolar day 999 have you ever seen that so i am pleased to announce that it has been a thousand days here in rim world this is absolutely insane we ended up with 284,000 wealth so it is time to say goodbye to all the mechs here silver she has survived he will embark on a new mission on another planet well then this has been quite the playthrough i'm telling you that possibly the hardest challenge ever and it's finally complete there we go silver and it's time to launch the ship so we have done it we have survived a thousand days in rim world So, you've launched the ship and these colonists escaped, so Silver, the janitor. Your machine persona will now try to guide the ship to a safe place. It might find a prosperous planet in the system, or it may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. You'll find out when you wake up. So, I mean, yeah, the hardest difficulty. I played on Randy Random 500% losing his fun. So, that was insane literally insane but other than that thank you for watching and thanks to my patrons members and if you're bored then watch this video next